at the border of Belkinus, confronted by the armored hunter known as, known as Thorn. They stand between you and the route into Chester City. The air is still and silent, and the creature has its face dead set towards Kara Miharian. And yeah. immediately, I'm going to need everyone to roll initiative. No! There is no, no talking our way out of this. If I choose not to roll initiative, does that mean that I can just go whenever I want? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, you're not rolling. No. I can assure you, you can go whenever you want at, as the last person to go. We are not hmm. rolling well at all. All right, so the first thing Thorn's immediately going to do is you can see that they are just hovering just a few inches off of the ground, and you see them move very quickly towards Nathaniel's horse and goes to cut no! down Kara. No! Oh, no! Oh, no! my God! This is what happens when you ride with Kara! I mean, oh. he said he said he's cutting down Kara. I'm fine. Yeah. Oh, my God, you bastard. Oh, my God, why are you like this? All right, as a reaction, Kara holds up her staff Quickly, you can see there's a little bit of panic in her eyes, and you can see out of the staff the kind of bony protrusions of the spine kind of uh, splay out into a shield, and Thorn smacks into it. It bounces off into the horse, and Nathaniel, you are knocked off of your horse. The horse is heavily injured. Oh, fuck, not the horse! And you Ow. and Kara are both knocked off. You're both prone. Oh, I'm about to fucking destroy this man. <laughs> We might need to kill him just so that we can make it out of here alive. Yeah, no, I, I will be doing, I will be doing the baps. And that hit me so hard, he threw gonna, me in defense mode. Swing at Kara. Oh, that's uh, with advantage. With advantage. Yep. If you what? attack a prone person in melee, mm -hmm. it has advantage. The horse, the horse is going to be prone as well. It's, it's oh. kind of winning and just crying out in pain and panic, just kind of kicking the dirt and grass. And the second hit bounces off of the shield as well. Oh, thank God. Luna, your turn. Okay, yeah, no, I'm off the horse and I'm running over. Uh, two swords out, and I, well, no, I want to try and fucking tackle this fucker. All right, give me a uh, athletics, I guess. Oh, athletics? Are you going to try and oh, grapple shit. grapple them? Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. Okay. Right. Well, that's a, the stat's the same. The stat's way. the same? Okay. You go to grapple, but Thorn just, like, pushes both arms aside, just, like, bashes your arm aside as you try to go hold... But well, you do ha still have your attacks, unless you want to make another one with another one of your um, attacks. I would like to first bonus action rage and then mm. make another one. That's a <laughs> good I idea. Can, then I can advantage. Um, so uh, first, first we just need to put a little rage in the chat. Rage, all right. 16. 16. God damn it. <laughs> Oof. Unfortunately, you go for a swing, but Thorn takes their axe and parries it out of the way. Sparks fly. Ping! And at that parry, you can feel there's a, an immense amount of force behind the swing that it almost throws your sword arm, like, just, like, entirely behind you at the force of it. Okay, well, um, I think I'd like to burn my action surge then. Okay. Dang. Um, and take my swords out. <laughs> okay. Don't think grappling's gonna work anymore. I just want to make sure that I am defending Nathaniel and Kara um, All right. as I take these two attacks. 16 to hit. <laughs> nope, no, not enough. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, nope, you go. Not Both enough. swings parry. Pating, pating. As Thorn is using some very expert kind of uh, martial prowess with the axe, swapping kind of hands up and down the axe shaft, like preparing for each blow. Okay, yeah, well then, yeah. I guess end my turn. I just want to make sure that I am protecting Kara and. Uh, Nathaniel, like I'm going to be a problem. <laughs> All right. So uh, next is the NPC's turns, and you can see that. Uh, firstly, I'm going to go with Francis. Francis is panicked. He doesn't know what to do. What? what, what he turns to Renee. What? what? She just like points towards Chester. I'm just like, go. Oh. Like, this is this is one of those moments. Remember when I said that there are times where you don't fight? That thing is fucking terrifying. No, like she just points like, nah, nope. You don't want you don't want this. You don't want it. Give me a persuasion at advantage. Okay, I swear to God, take it out <laughs> and then run. You see, he squints his eyes, just like he's hesitating. But he he hops like closer to the front of the horse, takes the reins, and yeah. And starts to ride off towards I Chester City. <laughs> and I'm gonna I say he dashes much. with the horse as well, so he's gonna leave combat. Next. Yay! 
uh, <laughs> is going to be Rushk, who simply is rides the axe beak up, and he just like kind of kicks the sides of it, and the axe beak is going to try and claw Thorn away. It's going to try and grab Thorn and toss Yay, him to the side. This is what happens when we make friends, guys. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Oh, please don't die, though, because now I feel responsible for your brother and your grandma. Please. Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? <laughs> Unfortunately, that's the axe beak... for learning more about him. The axe beak is not uh, strong enough. It just kind of goes to claw at him, but the armor is too thick. Uh, and now Kara's turn. Kara is going to stand up, firstly. And you can see that she kind of, like, holding her arm, She it's been a little bit rattled from the blow. <sighs> she throws her both her arms down and slowly lifts them as if she were trying to carry the very earth uh, itself. And the ground starts to shake underneath all your feet and it rumbles and cracks. The ground splits open around you guys and you, as she summons a small army of skeletons. They're not that big. Sorry. Okay, I was gonna say, <laughs> that's not a small army. Ah, uh, yes, a small, a small army, army of one big skeleton. <laughs> yeah. Very a small smart. Army of big yeah. skeleton. Oh, oh, please don't attract officials. Please don't attract Belkinus officials. She, well, I think we're far enough away. She pushes <laughs> her hands up and they all start to dash in and try to kind of pile on to Thorn. Oh my god. Oh god, yeah, to give him more targets to hit that aren't Nathaniel. Oh boys, rattle them. Hopping boys. on. <laughs> rattle them, boys. Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna name that one Melvin. <laughs> Wait, Spencer! Devon! After she's done conjuring, she she lets go of her hands and kind of goes to clutch at her side. You can see that she has sustained some kind of wound. Fuck. Ooh. Renee, oh, what? Your turn. <laughs> Damn. Okay, this is the one thing I can think of that'll benefit everybody, including myself. I am going to use heat metal, but I'm not using it on uh, specifically the armor. I'm using it on the axe that uh, Thorny's using. Mm. So what happens if I do that is that you're, he's going to take the damage regardless, or they're going to take damage regardless, and then the creature has to succeed on a constitution saving throw or drop the object. Okay. If it can. Ooh. Which I'm basically, so basically I'm trying to disarm. All right. Okay. DC 15? Constitution, you say? Oh, it's 16. It's a 16, 16. save. 16. Yeah. They meet it. They hold on. Ah. You see the axe that succeeds. start he to burn damage, a bright, though. start to heat up as a bright glowy orange, but they hold on to it and you can hear sizzling as a little bit of smoke kind of comes from where they're holding up, but they do take the damage. Okay, cool. And then um, the other thing I am going to do is a uh, Spartic Inspiration. I'm trying to find... Okay, there's Unsettling Words. And it's subtracting from the next saving throw that it makes. Should I use Unsettling Words or should I inspire somebody? Well, uh, I'm after you, group. so... If, Are you if asking you... to be inspired? <laughs> it might or, be a good idea. <laughs> I have an idea. Work on his save if he used a winging shot. Oh, yeah, I would. It would. It would. So I'm going to do that because it takes a D8. That would get taken away for the saving throw. So I, I will roll that. Can I roll that? There it goes. Oh, well, that's sad. It's OK. I was focusing on the axe. I'm sorry. It's OK. Uh, Who knows? That might be the decision between life and death right there, You know, buddy. it very well could. <laughs> it very well could. could. <laughs> Making it and uh, is that your turn then? Are you going to direct your horse any any direction? Or are you just going to? Uh stand guard um, just in case i kind of want to be further away enoch i'm sorry but i kind of want to go this way a little bit with the horse oh no it's 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 fine it, I wanna go it doesn't here. matter it, yeah go ahead you know yeah, range let's... fighter it's fine yeah. exactly and i still need to be within a certain I, distance for my spell to work but i'd rather be a little bit further mm -hmm. away yeah no it, it, don't worry because you know what is about to happen is going to happen yeah you go ahead go ahead have fun <laughs> all right <laughs> All right, I guess it's me? It is, yes. Enoch, your turn. Okay, bonus action, Radiant Soul. Okay. And action, Ring of Haste. Okay. So, wings, I'm gonna go straight up into the sky off the horse. Okay. I'm gonna put myself about 35 feet up and one, two, three, four. 
no, one, two, three, and then 15 feet that way. So that's 40 feet so far. And I am going to take my haste action to do my attacks. And okay. I'm going to pump a winging shot into this, uh, into my first attack to see if that will do anything. Strength save okay. DC 14. 14. All right. Yeah. Uh, negative one because of uh, Renee. Yep. So, yeah. Let's see what we get. 24. Mm, 24 hits. Okay. And I'll go ahead and roll damage. Yep. You, 15. You fire, you fire off a shot. It <laughs> kind of pierces through a chunk of the armor. You can see tiny sparks kind of f- fly off and tiny little pieces splinter off of the armor as you pierce right through with that shot. Let me see if the winged shot okay. works. Unfortunately, Thorn is still up. Damn. All right. Uh, second attack, winging shot again. Mm-hmm. Come on, let's go. 26 to hit. 26 does hit. Okay, and that will do a cool 11 points of damage. Yep, another decent chunk. Just like another, you just see just two shots fire out in quick succession, kind of breaking into the armor. You can see. Yeah, and uh, he needs to make another strength saving throw. All right. This one, he has his regular thing. There's no minus because it was only the next one. Yeah. Unfortunate. As luck would have it, that second shot knocks uh, him prone. Oh Oh my my god! Thorn Thorn drops to their knee as you hear a loud thud of this clanging armor and are holding (gasps) on to their axe, trying to hold themselves steady. And I I say, hey big guys, the sun's getting real low. (laughs) Kick his ass, boys. Please. I would love to, but he's gonna stand up before I get my next turn. I will yep. say how. Okay, now that is that all you're doing, Yuck? Because I. Uh. Okay. Uh. So bonus action, action, uh, hasted action. Uh. I have 20 feet of movement left. Uh. You want to know what? No, I can't do anything else. It's pretty much me. I am up in the sky. He can't touch me for now. Good. Yeah. All right. I'm done. Uh, Renee, okay. Uh, I, sorry. Uh, sorry. Cammy, what were you going to say? I just read the end of the thing of if it doesn't drop the object, it has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks until the start of your next turn. All oh, right. I will so, keep that in mind. Uh, hey, hey, apologies I if I didn't add that. that. Uh, I will add that in the future from here on out. Listen, Dang, I, did, I, I totally forgot that it did that, so that's why I wrenched it now. So it's on both I of us. Really, I really wish you had that disadvantage on that was, first roll. But it wasn't saving throws. It's just checks. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, no. Checks. Yeah, you're yeah, right. So it wouldn't yeah. be saving throws, so mm-hmm. they wouldn't have mattered. Yeah. That's yeah, why. No, you're right. You're right. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, you, I'm sorry. I, I mixed that up. I, I, I mixed that up. Even as a I DM, I'm it's sorry. A, we got I'm a Nathaniel. Dummy. Your turn. You have just been knocked off your horse, and you see this hulking armored creature that is about is currently slightly being dogpiled by a bunch of skeletons, kind of like around <laughs> yeah, it, what a as weird well day. as being shot by uh, <laughs> Enoch, and now it's kneeling on top of the grass. Ah, yes, I appreciate that it's been knocked prone just for me, the man who will not be making use of that at all. Instead, uh, from the ground, I spin my hand and pink lights shoot out of it. They can hit five people. They'll hit, you know, the usual five. Yep, you're close oh. enough. Okay, hit bop, 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 uh, as I cast my Mantle of Inspiration, uh, which, for those of you who do not know, uh, allows you to immediately, as a reaction, move up to your speed. You do not provoke attacks of opportunity, and you do gain eight temporary hit points. Yay! Okay, I'm definitely Dude. taking that, so, that so temp who, HP. Who got, who got it? Me? Uh, Everybody. Everybody. Uh, all, all of the whole team in Kara. Okay. Oh, nice. I am. Even, even Rush. Rush gets up and fucked yeah, out. Poor Rush. Rush didn't get it. Did Rush need it? Is no. he a melee guy? Rush is on he has a melee right dude. now, technically. Yeah, yeah, he's fine. Mm-hmm. He's See, Kara called. gets up and gets to a safer distance. It does not provoke a- attack of opportunity, you said? Nope. Nope. It does not, not a little. Nope. Not it does at not. all. <laughs> now you're and in my house, bitch. Everybody <laughs> trade places. I was gonna I was gonna say, like, I might call out to Kara and see if she'll get on the horse. Uh <laughs> yep. She is. Let's see. How up to her movement speed, so let's see. Yeah, Actually, that's, that's a great idea. idea. I'm, going, horse. I'm going that way too. <laughs> yep. yeah, she hops I, I start on. pointing her towards that direction, and she, as she does, you can see she's incredibly winded and uh, just cries out to you, uh, Renee. Whatever this creature is, it's not bound by the limits of something living, so it will not tire out. 
If we've planned to escape, we should do so now. We've tried that. It's very difficult to actually make work and stick. This might be now now or never moment. I'm going to hop onto the horse. I don't suppose you think we can defeat this thing? At least hold it back for a time being before I figure out what the hells it is. I, I imagine that it knows where we are because it's following necromancers, namely you. Uh, my action will... Right, I need to do something with my action. I need to actually be a team player here. <laughs> uh, yeah. Enemies I mean, abound will be useless here. Pretty good. I have a question. I have a spell that can be casted at a higher level. I do not want to use the higher level thing of it. Effectively, hold person is a spell that I have. Uh, I could cast it, but only at a higher level, and that means I'd cast it on two people. Can I just choose not to cast it on the second person? Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, that's very easy. Uh, in that case, I'm gonna hold my hand out and I'm gonna try to focus on whatever is inside that helmet of thorns. <laughs> uh, hey. And I'm going to try to mess with the brain so that it can no longer send signals outwards towards the rest of the body as I cast Hold Person. Hey oh, uh, paraly isn't paralyzed instant crits if it hits? Yep, that's pretty, pretty rude. Okay. Also, the spell save DC is 16. 16. Starting Doesn't to find my way. On this, on this save no, it's a save. It's not. It's, it's on not checks, saving not saves. It's only checks. Mm -hmm. yeah. no not that I know about. Hey, to be fair, it. you're you're good. To be fair, he will have disadvantage on attacking you guys. So yeah, well. and he will also have disadvantage on making a strength check against your, uh, your grapple. Now this is just flavor. Nothing happens to you, Nathaniel. But when you peer right. into the mind of Thorn to hold them in place to cause their brain to stop them, you see flashes of not only Kara, but also the other two Meharian sisters flashing as if like at rapid pace before, just for a brief moment before he comes back to you, your normal consciousness. <gasps> Damn. Oh. It's thinking. Whether it's alive or dead, it's thinking and not just of you, of your sisters. Kara's speechless like that. Oh. I will end my turn. Next. What is that thing? Oh wait, it needs to roll the save. Let me do that. Ha! I, what, I thought I failed. I almost, I almost forgot about that. You didn't even that. do no, no, no. my spell. You're trying to get me out of this. I totally forgot. Sorry, I was caught up in the moment. Oh, I was caught up in the moment. Nathaniel's too powerful. Nathaniel's just too strong. You know, well, it, looks like, it looks like karma it's has paid my dues because guess who's held personed? Yeah. Oh. Is it me? <laughs> Fuck. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> oh held. my god, I'm about to fucking oh obliterate god. this motherfucker. Well, good luck to you all. I'm running to the bathroom. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Right. He did so good, he shit himself. So, at the end of each of its turns. Okay, so it doesn't do anything on its turn, but it needs to roll again. But it gets to roll again. Fail. Fail. Yeah. Fail. 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 It fail. does fail. 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 Yes! You can see it's struggling. <laughs> it's like jutting and jittering in place and shaking, and you can hear the armor rattling as it's like slowly lifting its axe, as if it's just being pulled by an immense force of gravity. Ah, fuck, yes! Hell yeah! Luna! Oh, and it's my turn. I would like to oil one of my blades, please, with one of the, uh... I have one last... I have two, uh, charges of the exhaustion oil. I just want to oil absolution with the <gasps> blade bonus action. Yep, you may. All right, one, please hit. 19? Uh, yes, 19 <laughs> does hit. That's a crit, hit. Then. Yep, yes! so it's a crit, so you do double your damage, so that's a 10. Oh my god. Yep, you slash into the armor. Oh wait, rage damage too? I'm raging still. Oh yeah, that's right, rage damage. Yep, okay. plus two. So that is a 12. Okay, you slash, large sparks kind of fly off of the armor right where it tinged off of your sword. And uh, he has now been hit with the exhaustion oil, so. <gasps> yes, so all, what is that, all physical checks will now uh, be at disadvantage? I think, I think so. I think that's yeah, that sounds about right. How does... How does double disadvantage work? Uh, I'm it's just gonna just double disadvantage. I'm just gonna say it doesn't stack. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. That's yeah. That's valid. But he's gonna <laughs> get stabbed months. again though. Mm -hmm. Again with absolution. Oh well. Oh. I got fucking stuck in his arm. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking cross guard stuck now, in the spikes. It would if it weren't for the fact that Thorn is prone from the winging shot. <gasps> Remember, uh, you know, that's when you attack at melee oh, yeah. on a prone target, you get advantage. So that's 22. You take that's that's 22, baby! Oh my god! That's another crit, so, so more that's, rage So that's damage. an 8. And more rage. And ten. that's a 10. All right, you slash again. Nice chunk of damage to the point where 
As you are slashing and slashing, you can see there's a dim green glow at each blow that you make on Thorn that lights up ever so, like, so slightly. Until this final blow, you... And it's going to use its legendary action. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. oh, oh. It's got legendary actions. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. And it bursts. It. You hear a screeching noise akin to a crying, dying bird of some kind. Some kind of monstrous noise that you've never heard before come from inside the helmet as this bright kind of yellowish green aura burst out of every hole of the armor, including its helmet. And Luna and Rushk, I'm going to need you both to make wisdom saves. Well, wisdom. Rushk, I'm going to roll for him. Wisdom. Oh, wisdom. shit. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> okay, so Rushk question. makes it. You do not. <laughs> Oops. Oh, so, oh, oh my god. Am I frightened? So, you see this piercing visage of this spectral being coming from this armor, and you are indeed frightened, and you are going to take... What happened to the paralysis? The paralysis is still there, but she hit him so many times that he exploded with a green aura. He's, mm -hmm. It's a legendary action he's using. Yeah! So you take Fuck. 16 necrotic damage. See, well, that's... Ha wait, 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 hold on, that might Half be half. I'm pretty sure I'm... Resist wait, yeah. no, no, wait, that's You're not resistant to radiant damage. Yeah, no. Nope, also necrotic. Oh, oh nice, it's, never mind. You only yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was, I was you, gonna say also you only take eight radiant damage, radiant never mind. Necrotic. Yeah. But you but are you're frightened. So frightened, but you're the fighter. No. Good, good news is that was just your temp HP. <laughs> but but oh, she's yeah, fighting that now. Was, that was that was You're frightened and all of these skeletons around Thorn just crumble into no! into bones. <laughs> Devon! Now, although Rusk Devon! made the save, his axe beak did not. Zed. Oh no, please tell me his axe beak didn't just die. The axe, the axe beak, beak did not make die. the save. It starts to cry out and start to book it the other direction. Oh shit! And uh, he's trying to gain control of it. Whoa, whoa there! Oh shit! Fuck! Oh fuck! And with that, Thorn is no longer prone. <laughs> With that hey. legendary action, it gets rid of one debuff. That's so sad. I'm glad it was. The, well, I'm glad it was the prone and not the par paralysis. Nope. Because that paralysis is gonna hurt real fucking bad when Enoch gets around. True. Because then oh, he's gonna crit too. <laughs> True. Enoch, do the, do the thing. We don't <laughs> Actually, it's not his turn yet. Actions it has. So, is there any anything else that you're going to do now that you're frightened, Luna? You do have to. You are. I think frightened. You are not allowed to attack. You can't move any closer. closer. You can't move any closer. So you can't attack it. Yeah. Well, sure. I, I don't have. I don't have. I can attack it. It's just a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Um. It, I. But. Be it would I've be normal since, well, actually, no, yeah. it would, yeah, be a, it disadvantage. Would just be a disadvantage. Yeah, no, I've yeah. been frightened enough to know. I've had this condition enough to know. <laughs> uh, I, I can't move clo any closer to it. Um, I have disadvantage on attacks as long as it's within my line of vision. Yeah, I think Luna's gonna try to move away from it. She's yeah. frightened. Uh, All right. I can't disengage, so she just starts taking steps back. It's okay, it's, uh, it's paralyzed, so I don't think it can make an attack anyway. Nope. But, uh, Luna looks scared. She's never looked scared. This freaks me out, even. Like, what the fuck? All right. Luna, what the fuck? So, on the NPC's turn, Kara is just, she's, you can see she's a little shaken. She's, you see her eyes darting back and forth. She's trying to think of a plan right now. And you can see after she made the conjuring of the skeletons, you can see the black veins kind of just like all throughout her arms and she's kind of holding them as if she had just sustained a terrible wound. And mm. let's see if Rushk is going to try and take control of his axe beak or not. No, he's just going to hop off. The axe beak runs off in fear and Rush just jumps off and bears his daggers. He's going to go in. Oh, oh shit. That's a God. smart idea. Rush. <laughs> Yep. Man. You can do it. He is or you can't, and you'll die. Do going not to kill this man. Please don't kill this Murder man. him. Takes out both Please. daggers, and he's just gonna do like a quick uh, finesse spinny move and try and cut him down. Even so, I have a plan. Thorn's armor is a little thick for him. And Extra the horse thick. is gonna try and Extra get up. The horse failed thick. as well. It's gonna get up and start to oh no. run as well. 
Oh. It's the no, other way, horse. whinnying and crying. Damn it, horse! And it leaves combat. I love how we were like, we should be worried about the horses for the long term. We have one horse left. Oh, I mean, Francis has one of them. <laughs> Wait, we have two Wait, horses. Where the fuck did horse go? Horse um, ran away. Horse, horse got horse frightened. Horse fucked off. Yeah, horse yeah. got Wait. frightened. Horse, horse is come back here. Too. That's why Luna ran off too. She's also frightened. Luna is fuck, frightened. Fuck, that was dude. part of my plan. Yeah, no. I was about to uh, fucking mantle of inspiration the horse and also Luna in Enoch, and they were all gonna ride together away, but I guess not. Well, no. I'm sorry I was frightened. Yeah, well. Next, Renee, frightened. your turn. I have one plan. I, I honestly think this is a now or never moment uh, in terms of getting rid of Thorn, so I am stuffing my letter, like, looking at Nathaniel, stuffing my letters in the po- in his pocket and getting off the horse. Renee, no. Yoink. Oh. She's just, like... Someone's gotta make it somewhere. <laughs> like, someone's gotta make it to Chester. Kyle's got to make it to Chester. Like, just, that's all she says and just bounces off. Um, at least at the beginning of this. Uh, bonus action, I can uh, continue the um, heat metal, which means he has to make another constitution save. Okay. Um, I think I just roll the damage again. Mm-hmm. So I will just roll that again. So another six damage. No, continues to hold on to the axe, even while so paralyzed. So you continue? And, mm-hmm, yep. He will continue to have disadvantage on his, their attacks then. Mm-hmm. That doesn't bother yep. me. Doesn't bother me none. Um, and then same thing as the... Oh, wait, that was my bonus action. So my action actually is to get out my crossbow and shoot him. <laughs> All right. Show me. Because I actually have I'm a glad weapon. there's a wall of bones before he has to get to you, Renee. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Show me the crossbow. Um, okay. Does a six, 16 doesn't hit, does it? It does not, unfortunately. Yeah, damn. Oh that's okay. Yep, you fire it and it just ping off of the armor. Yeah, that, that smarts. Uh, that's all I can do, so I'm just gonna hang out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Enoch. I don't want to get closer to him if I, can, if I can help it. Your turn, Enoch. Well, I have a lot of actions to take right now. <laughs> the majority of them are to shoot the motherfucker, shoot him! Okay, so uh, first round of attacks, uh, the gavel. Here we go. Oh no. Okay. All times. This is uh this is bad. But it, it doesn't miss fire, but it, the shot does not go off. Okay. <sighs> okay. Second attack. Here we go. Uh 17? 17 is not enough. You fire it off, it goes a little wide. As you know, okay, this that's... bright, you know, intimidating creature, understandably, it has you a little bit shaken. Okay. Uh well, action surge. All right. Next Excellent round of attacks surge. before I, uh, I'm currently on the, uh, currently on the, the wings to, f- for what might happen. Let's see. All right. Uh, 19? 19 hits. All right. Roll, rolling damage. Yep. You get a crit from this, which is going to be 26. Oh. <laughs> yep. You fire it off and it hits a big chunk of armor <laughs> off. Just a big chunk this time. Not just little pieces. Wait, if it's a crit, is it double double the damage? Yeah, which is why you did 46 just now. Fuck! Damn! <laughs> oh my god. That's so much damage! <laughs> <It's> like, <gasps> oh, oh my god, Enoch! <laughs> oh god! How is right, Thorn uh, looking? Holy shit! You can see that the chunks of armor and stuff are chipped off and broken and pieces are falling apart, revealing some black undersuit underneath and some black chainmail. I have three attacks left. Three? Ooh. Are you sure? <laughs> because I still haven't taken my hasted action. Oh, okay. you're hasted! Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Yeah, so, uh, oh. yeah no, no. Action this surge, is... second attack. Wait. 19 to hit. 19 does hit. It's it's two more attacks. The That's hasted two. action. Yeah. The, the, the hasted action only gives okay. you one more weapon attack. Yeah, I was gonna say. Okay. Oh, but still, okay. but okay. still, yeah, still, yeah. still, still, keep going. So yes, this, this one hits. Okay, no, so that's 20, damage. all right. Fuck. Yep, you oh fire another God. one. <laughs> These pieces, you're knocking <laughs> off chunks of the armor here, just everywhere. All right. Last roll. Hasted, a- uh, hasted attack. Oh, God. Oh, 14. No, this one. I didn't misfire. That's nope. the good news. Yeah. That's the good you fire news. off these two shots, <laughs> blasting off chunks of the armor. You can see there's a crack in the helmet. Ooh. Here's the thing. I haven't taken my bonus action yet. Meaning, if I run up to him and close the distance, I could pull out the rapier and make an attack as my bonus action because of my firearm specialist. If but you if wish. He away, he gets it. Oh, and if you moved away, you'd still be fine because he's 
paralyzed. Yeah, he's paralyzed still. <sighs> Fuck. All right, I'm coming down and I'm gonna just land on his shoulders. <laughs> just stab him in the skull with the rapier. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see. Uh, I shall stick this blade between your shoulder blades. <laughs> no, even better. Like, okay. If you stab it like in the helmet, you nope, might be able to like, rape, nope. get it off. Not, not enough. You go just like. And just the slight movement of their head just f dodges out of the way, like the special edition Star Wars Han Solo. <laughs> no, it's just like I tried to stick it in. It's just like, come on, come on, get this fucking thing off of you. No, at least he can't attack you. Uh, paralysis doesn't give advantage, does it? Does it? Yes, it, I believe it does. does yes. It? Oh. If you make him melee. Oh well, then. Oh, oh does it? let me check. Oh, let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Yeah, let me check. check it, I can. Because I remember right it. now. Yeah, check it. Paralysis. When you are paralyzed, attack rolls against you have advantage. Okay, never mind. Yes, you may roll oh, again. Oh shit! My mistake. So I roll. I roll the twenty. Uh, All right. Uh, unnatural twenty. Never mind. So, my mistake. But that's still uh, a crit. It's still a crit because he's That paralyzed. is a crit. Show me the damage. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh Old my person's God, just so Daniel busted. <laughs> so that's just so busted. busted. <laughs> you blast it and you you stab right into the helmet and just a <gasps> loud boom off. just <laughs> ruptures out and I'm gonna need everyone to make a constitution saving throw. Everybody? Oh, Everybody. Oh. I, I might be pulling a talus in here. Oh, it's just like, your oh no. Die, oh, die, no. die. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh my. Oh, Guys. No. Oh, we might be dead. We might be dead. <laughs> we'll be oh fine. My God, he just nuked us. I want the world to know I have one health other, like off of maximum. So if I go down, this thing did everything. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh God! What did I do? What did you do? What did I, I just, do? What did we do? Hold on, I'm doing math. I, I did. Oh, no. You the never want to hear that. No, that's I the worst thing the to hear from your DM. Hold on, I'm doing I am math. at fucking ground zero. All right. <laughs> I, so everybody, there's a mm -hmm. loud, rupturous boom that erupts from Thorn as the mask is pried open by your stab of your rapier as this burst of black smoke billows out of the open helmet. You hear a loud screeching from inside. A loud what? Screeching. Screeching. Oh, Wait. shit. Is the, is the smoke... And oh, you can okay. see... Just as you do, pardon the time of day, I was not anticipating you guys to do this here. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We really just killed the Witch King, didn't we? Holy shit! Yeah, I don't think we killed him! We're Did we kill him? No. This rupturous boom just crackles and just like, you see the grass underneath you blow out in a big, just shockwave around you. And everyone, because everyone failed the save, needs to take 32 uh, necrotic damage. 32? Oh my god! <laughs> Half for the Osmars. Half. Half for the for the uh, Osmars. So 16. Uh, uh, 16 I'm for still us. Not, say it's 24. Still not happy. You see, oh, yeah. then and as the smoke dissipates and you start to see your vision comes back, you can see that it goes to clutch at. Its face just like it looks oh, in wait. horrible pain, and you can see behind the mask. Oh my god, wait. <gasps> oh my god, it's animatic style! Oh, oh my oh, god, shit. No. No. Oh my god, god. Joe. Joe. who's behind the mask? Show us, show us, show us, show us, show us, show us, right show us, like, show right show me, show me, show me, show me, show me, show me. You see, me. as the smoke dissipates and your vision starts to clear, behind the mask is a humanoid <gasps> with an ear that seems to be damaged. <laughs> This How raises so many so more questions! Yes. No! Who the fuck did it? Chandra did it! No! Chandra! Yeah, did Chandra. And that's why she needs Kara to fix this! Alright, moving on! It. Problem oh. in front of us, though, is she's still alive! No, well, she's still here! Yeah, no, she's still here! We gotta go! You see yeah. Thorn move and twitch and just like as if it's being pulled by strings and twitching 
in agony, and you can see Kara taken aback. She looks happy. And Thorn reels back and screeches as a black smoke takes it and it vanishes. Uh, oh my god, we won! Oh my god, we won! Oh my god, we won! Please Thorn has retreated. Thorn's gone? Thorn I retreated. Like to you can see again. the black smoke encapsulate the armor as it flies up into the sky. Oh, no, I'm chasing it. I'm what? fucking chasing this. Can, can you fly that fast? You can only I fly have, for uh, a minute, Enoch. Yeah, I, I, unless I'm, you want to fall to your death. If you want, I am Enoch, on second, if you really, I am on really want second to, second eighteen, you can chase it I'm down. On, well, considering the fact that I have, <laughs> uh, now you were thirty-five feet in the air and you flew down, right? Yeah. So, so you flew down thirty-five feet. How much how movement do you have it? left? Okay. How fast is she moving? You can see that she darted out. Like a missile. She is already, let's see. She's already a fair distance away. If you want to chase after her, there is a trail of smoke following her. A trail of black smoke. Well, you see, I have a hundred and twenty feet of movement. <laughs> just he has the haste just ring. if even if I ended my even if it, this is the end of my turn. Once it comes to the second round, I can technically I could technically move. Up to 180 feet. Yeah, no, the question is, what's going to happen after 10 rounds where you're chasing this, and then you're up in the sky, and then, an undetermined amount of feet, you're going to die? Yeah, you're going to fall. No, I'm, I'm going to catch her, and I'm going to drag her down. She's coming with me. That is very oh optimistic, but I'll let you try. <laughs> oh my god, Enoch! I'm sorry, guys, but... <laughs> All right. This is, more than, this is more than just business. All right, you may chase after her if you so wish. All right, uh, so dashing at 120 and then hasted dash is 180. All right, how, at 180 quickly, feet, you are catching up to her. However, you are following a trail of black smoke. So for every, because you are, this is like, you're following her. Because if you don't go like directly in the same direction you're not going to be able to catch up you have to go so okay remember you have to land for every 10 feet i'm going to need you to make a constitution saving throw and you may stop right. flying at any point so the first 10 feet constitution saving throw okay you are trying to hold your breath as this black smoke kind of covers your body and kind of makes you feel like this horrid pain and ache you take 10 necrotic damage which is five I'll, I'll just i'll just give you the half that you would take another 10 feet roll me another constitution saving throw every 10 feet every 10 feet it's a lot of smoke that he's passing through and you just how many feet did you say you were flying okay i i i burned 180 feet in a you in six seconds 18? all right Oh my god! You take another 11 necrotic damage as this black smoke is taking over your body and making you feel as though you are weakening and body is weakening and weakening and you can see your, your skin start to shrivel up as if being aged. Another 10 feet? It, I'm not going to move any further as I'm going to scream out to Abby. And so do you, do you continue to pursue? Nope. No? Okay. <laughs> As I am gonna scream out towards Abby. You can see that Thorn is far, far, just as if it's a bird in the distance. You hear the quiet screeching that you've ever heard before as Thorn flies through the sky and leaves your vision. Alright, well, I'm gonna make it back down to the ground before my wings disappear and... Mm -hmm. I am vehemently angry. This is probably the first time he's been so angry at, not at Abby, but at Chandrel. The immense amount of disappointment. And I'm going to land back with the rest of my party. The yeah, Axe Beak is gone. Yeah. The skeletons are crumbled. 
Kara is simply staring up at where Thorn had flown off, and she is speechless. She simply drops As... her her face into her hands and bears. Kara. As I'm Just... landing back. Oh. Fuck. I'm trying to get to... When Enoch oh, lands, yeah. I, I want to intercept real quick. Yeah. As I slide off of the horse. Did you see which way it went? Did I see which way it went? <laughs> uh, it went at the angle. It looked kind of towards the direction inland, kind of towards Chester City. But it went. It looked like more up. But if you were to pinpoint a direction, a cardinal direction, it looked south uh, west. Towards Belkness. Proper Belkness. And you can see he's probably looking gaunt right about now from the black smoke. Why did you run off like that, Enoch? I was trying to get headway. It was a good plan. Simply failed. And you can see when Enoch lands as well in the dim light of the moonlight, you can see that covering him, he looks completely dehydrated as if there are wrinkles all over his body and kind of a black splotchy nature around his skin, but it slowly starts to fade away. And I'm going to look at Kara. I'm so sorry. She holds up one hand and doesn't like look at anybody. Don't. Don't. Why? 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 What is wrong with all of you? Kara gets off of the horse. And the bone armor around her forms around her. And she... It forms a large knightly set. And she stares you deep in your eyes. You don't speak to me of personal stakes, boy. This is nothing against you. It's nothing to do with the necromancers. It's nothing to do with anyone. Why is there so much dread? She simply takes a step back. I've been on this planet for nigh on 200 years. Get used to it. This isn't right. None of this was... None of this is right. Why? She simply I gets don't... on the horse without another word. Enoch, stop. <sighs> Gods above, do you see what the woman just saw? Can you we, give her a minute to process that, please? All of us have been going through this for too long. Let's all take a bit to process, uh, to process in our own way. I'm going to hold my hand up, and I'm going to cast Mantle of Inspiration on everybody immediately. Yep. So that you, so that, I mean, you choose where you're going, but the implication is go somewhere. Rush, out. Rush gets up. Uh, kind of walks up to the party. I uh, don't know what the bloody hells that was, but uh, I think he's right. Perhaps in a more sheltered place. And he looks over at Renee. Right. Hopefully we'll be able to catch up to Francis before he gets into the city proper, but the passageway should have enough space for everyone to cool off. Aye. You remember the way? If not, I could possibly be some assistance. It may have been a long time, but it is one of those things you, that is not easy to forget. Aye. But if you don't mind, I am also not afraid to say that I am out of practice with underground work, literally. So. Ah, well, uh... I think the least I could do is take some of the work off of your shoulders. And he looks around at everyone, just seeing the distress. I think uh, I'll shoulder some of the some of the work for a little bit. I'll lead us. See if uh, the way's still there. I'll come back and let you know. She nods. You get us into the city, and I'll honor that agreement of mine. Aye. Getting in contact with that person. Of course. Starts to head off in a direction. Try and find the entrance to the runway. 
after a little bit of a while of you guys just kind of getting you know en your energy down and taking in the situation after a little while uh rusk returns and relays that he has found the route to the secret entryway into chester city without anybody knowing i've i found the route and uh just as secretive as it once was did no you see Francis around at all mm, i didn't go inside the city uh, not quite yet. Still been a while since I used that pathway. I just wanted to make sure that it was safe first. Plus, I'm a okay. little, uh, he, he just kind of scratches the si his side a little worse for wear, and I could use a bit of a nap. No, that that's that's fair. I'll, I'll try to send him a message in the morning. Yeah, hey, when we get into the city, I'm going to probably have to find my mother anyway at some point. I'll be going near the god, I might go near the god's barracks. He's probably was taken there. But he's not a criminal like me. Hmm? He's not some criminal. He's just a well. I mean, citizen. if he rode into the ta into town, scared out of his mind, they might have taken him there to ask him what was going on. I mean, <sighs> okay. So I, I'm just no, no, no. It's it's all right. It's all right. I'm I'm trying to say that I will go look for him so you can rest because both you look like. Sorry to say, you look like shit. No, that's fair. I didn't. I haven't been able to get in my my two hour morning routine. She like sarcastically says, like doing jazz hands of like woo sparkles. Well, I hope that that wouldn't also include you being covered in blood. Ah, yeah. No, that also is a problem, isn't it? Rush walks just... up uh, and points to you, Luna. Oh, you don't look much better yourself. And this pathway into the city is not exactly a walk in the park. We intentionally made it difficult. Didn't we, Renee? Yes, unfortunately for us, but you know, the, the, because it also was built by like us, then it, at least we have a better idea of how to get in there. Plus, if I'm, I'm are, are the supplies still still good, or is it shit now? They are there at the exit, uh, or in this case, the entrance. So we'll have a nice resting to... spot out of prying eyes. Team, you are going to love the two of us by the end of this because if. Rushk, I am, I'm sure they won't mind if I, if I take a couple of things. Oh, and not at all. It's my road, after all. <laughs> we haven't used that place in ages. All right. Well, if this, this is a place for us to stay, then... Sure, sure. Okay, let, let's go. Let's just go. Nathaniel, are you taking a walk? Oh, uh, I never got to say this before the break, but mm -hmm. I wanted to go find the horse. Oh, go like, find the horse. Yes, you are able to find the horse. You can see that it's a little bit shaken and panicked. And as you approach, you can see that it, it is a little taken aback by you as well. Oh, nothing a good charm can't fix. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to charm the horse. Okay. Yeah. Do you actually Do I have charm to charm the horse? Can, is it scared? Does it look like it's going to come with me otherwise? Mm, what's your animal handling at? The, <laughs> the stat itself. Oh, it's like a three. Three. Okay, I'd say that's good enough. With enough time, you're able to approach, like, you know, general horse uh, handling. I'll, I'll look to it. It'll look back at me. I'll look back at it. Hey. <laughs> it, <laughs> Motherfucker. It'll think I'm offering it food. All right, let's go. Yeah. I'll say you're able to get the horse back. It is oh not God, Holy shit. Huge. I don't, horse know is why, big. I don't know why uh, roll 20's, like, token is not doing it in the proper, like, token size right now. But yeah. So. Rushk leads you guys, let me just grab everybody, into a pathway. You see what uh, kind of a pile of bushes and rocks, the, and as Rushk moves towards it, he steps into it. It's an illusion, just as it always has been. Inconspicuous <sighs> been so and out of prying eyes, and I'm going to take your tokens real quick. Renee's actually no! going to look over at Luna. You're not telling your mom about this, right? No, not at all. Good. On the condition that I can use this. <laughs> all right. I mean, we'd have to get explicit per uh, permission from whoever actually owns the fucking world now, which I guess would be the protectors. Oh, yeah. no? Do you know how wonderful uh. it would be to be able to go into the city without my mother intercepting me and having to tell her where the hell I've been? So as long as none of you actually reveal where this place is. I know. I, I've worked in the underground of the city enough to know you don't reveal that. Don't worry. Secret's safe with me. <sighs> okay. 
You know, just because my mother's a member of the guard doesn't mean I'm also working for the guard. Listen, I am just saying, I don't... <laughs> for for clar clarification, <laughs> this, this reconciling with my mother is new. She walked out of my life years ago. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll toast to the parent problems once we have a place to sit down. Yeah, so, so just, just for the record... <laughs> I'm not in any way obligated to tell her anything as well. <laughs> Don't worry about Good. that. Good. All right. Rusk leads you in through the illusion, and it is a sizable, you know, size that you are able to bring your mounts in, and you will have to look at the far bottom right-hand corner. My fucking... Hey! Look at Whoa! that! Whoa! This is a, this is a right old... Place it's to cave. be. It's a cave, little tunnel, cave tunnel thing. And I see a place to nap. I'm okay with this. Yep. yep. Yeah. You've got a little nook in the side that he leads you to. It's got a bunch of sleeping bags, several crates full of various different supplies, just kind of strewn about. Uh, you would recognize Renee that there are our contents, supply caches that the protectors stole, uh, stored, kind of before they were known as the protectors, just in designated spots throughout this pathway. And this one, it's just got various different rations, maybe some some extra, you know, arrows, some very rusty old weapons in there as well, and some digging tools as well. All right, now if we don't have screaming matches at each other, we should be fine to stay in here. To rest and process. I will take first watch. Okay. And Kara simply goes to a corner to sit and trance without saying a word to anybody. How many more watches did we have in the night? Two. Okay. I think I was on last watch, so I'll take the last one since technically I slept more than you guys. That, up to you. I'm sleeping. Sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll take the last watch. I already got uh, two watches worth of sleep. Yes, yeah, so who's yeah. taking the first watch? I will. All right, show me. Mm. Also, if there's anything any of you guys want to do before you take your watches, now would be the time. I don't have a watch. Watch? <laughs> I am going to have... Uh, well, first and foremost, Kuro, who's been a good boy in surveying everything, he's just going to sit there like a like an alarm dog. Very well. Something... Something goes. Enoch, something are you sure you don't want goes, to move him further in? Uh, I'll have him stand right there. Okay. Yeah, and take off my hat. Take off the jacket. Take off my arm. He's disarmed. He's disarmed. We, we he's disarmed. Get him. To oh shut <laughs> up! God damn it! Get yeah, out. We, we, we constantly have to remember okay. that every time I fall asleep or if I get knocked out, the arm falls off. Mm -hmm. So I'm being a little preemptive. All right. And I'm going to lay back and I'm going to actually pray. Mm. Start thinking about Erethus tonight. All right. You think of Erethus. You think of all the things you've learned. You... I assume you think of uh, your good friend in Chester City. Oh yeah, I'm. I'm actually very worried about her. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, just thinking about Serene taking care of the Church of Erethus there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anybody else going to do anything before the uh, the watch starts? Watch. <laughs> Oh, yes, that's right. Yeah. I, yeah. You, you can see Rushk is uh, just propped up next to the crate, looking out, kind of, uh, and he turns his head. Mm. I appreciate you letting us come in here. Oh, I wasn't sure the one who didn't... carved this place. Yeah, but you're the one that's using it now. Consider just us because I even helped build it. for you not killing me. Yeah, no, that would be fair. Who wants to protect us now? Who knows? Them's full of cowards and brigands that died at the first sign of trouble. You saw all my mm. mates run as soon as I was dropped, yeah? Yeah. In, f in fairness, most of them didn't have a choice. Ah, yes, your little tricks, witch taker. Yes, speaking of which, it would be good for us to know these tunnels a little bit more if we were going to be staying in them for any amount of time. Aye. They are... Like, Vashk, if you were... Want to. Aye, well, 
And uh, if you guys want to zoom out so I can draw a little thing, just like basically a visualization of what he's saying. Okay. Yee. There's going to be multiple parts. First, we're going to go through here, fairly straightforward. There are a few traps around, mostly due to the natural area, having stalactites and all that. Might fall on your head. We thought, hey, that was a funny trap and we didn't have to do any work. So we left those there. Now there are going to be two paths split off, left and the right. The right's going to lead into a monster. Some of the underdwellers of this place, croakers, you know, hook horrors, the usual. We normally make the paths so that they don't travel around in a path that we need to. So we make them a nice nook so that they can make nests, come back and not bother us. If they travel across our path, we just let them pass. We don't need to worry about them. But as far as they know, this is their territory. Once we go down, there's going to be a massive hole. I know a lot of giant bats like to live there. But as long as we're quiet, stay around the outside, we should be good as to not disturb them. Besides, they're more afraid of us than we are of them. And when we head onwards, there's going to be another fork. To the left and to the right. To the left, there's going to be another trap for the monsters. Don't remember which ones, I didn't get a good look at them, but they had a lot of legs. Now, once we go upwards, there's going to be a Hydra split. Several different paths. We're going to take this most left one. It's the one that actually leads across into Belkinus's Chester City. I almost said Belkinus proper. It's going to lead into Chester City. There, it's an abandoned building in the slums that nobody checks, nobody does upkeep. The rest of them have either monsters or more traps. However, if we need so, some of the trap rooms that we try to entice anyone who tries to follow our trail, if we are able to disable the trap, they do have some nice supplies. We use it as a, as a means of safety in case we have a last resort need for those supplies and some of the safe rooms are already taken or somebody's following our trail. Otherwise, if we make it to this room, we should be safe. And it's that simple then. Say again? Just about. And Just it's about that, that simple. simple then. Aye, very simple. Although it's been a while since uh, I used one of these routes, so might be a little bit hit, different. Hit him with the insight. <laughs> Did you say you domesticated these monsters or you simply just gave them their own space? What keeps them from it's attacking usually, the routes? So it's usually let that me go with the insight first. They don't bother us. So the insight, you can see he's struggling to remember. He's really, really digging deep. Like he's taking time to think and he is like looking around, trying to map out the area. In it seems like he is trying his genuine best to try and give you an accurate retelling of the layout of this place. Understood. And when was the last uh, so time that you, you were, were here? you were asking him about domesticating. Oh yeah, you guys do so. Yeah, did you domesticate the monsters, or did you did did you skip them a space? I've never heard of that before. Not exactly. How I was told, Renee and her friend here uh, kind of made routes to sort of manipulate the monsters. They don't believe they're trapped, they just think it's another tunnel for them to use. If you create a space for them to live that they know doesn't get interacted with by people, it's far less likely that they'll want to leave. Aye. Yeah, no, at least Luna just looks impressed smart. at this. Whoever made these it, tunnels is bloody smart. Yeah. 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 They are they are fucking brilliant. That is brilliant. I don't think I've ever heard of that before. Aye. Special mineral deposits, places where prey underground animals like to roost, that sort of stuff. Renee's just got like a little half smile on her face. Just thinking back. Renee, I may have to ask you a few questions after all of this. Don't uh, ask me anything about this. I know next to nothing. I just, I helped with building what was necessary. I was not the planner, so. All right, all right. We Still all need though, to sleep. Yeah, it is. We are running on very short time. Right. Getting the fuck to sleep. All right, I hear you. I won't say anything else. She just rolls over, like, giving him sort of like a half-genuine stink eye. But it's like, you can totally tell she's kidding. I'm just like, okay, yes, sir. I'm not looking at her at all. (laughs) Instead, I I am sitting down. My journal is out. I'm writing furiously into it. And that's about it. Mm -hmm. You see, Russ kind of leans over to over the crate to just uh, kind of whisper over to Enoch. You all right, big man? 
No, I'm not. You want to talk about it? I'm looking at the rest of the group and then narrowing eyes on Kara. For a while, I was a bit more naive to think that I could purge the devil out of me, thinking that I could do a lot more better and a lot more good. And it disturbs my mind that somebody would cruelfully drag somebody from the depths and then force them to scurry around the earth to hurt more people. Not just bad people, not just necromancers, but good people sometimes. You can see Rusk looks down a bit. Well, if I'm any consolation, you've got a devil in all of us. I've done cruel things. Yeah, you bring me along for the ride. And I'm sure your I friends have, have done cruel things. I think you taking on the responsibility of purging that evil. I think that's too much for anyone. <laughs> I agree. But I am so damn tired of cruelty. I am so downtrodden by misfortune of other people and all I wanted to do in my life is actually help but there is always someone who's gotta just one up the shit and just be terrible and more cruel and more dangerous and more cruel and I can take it I know I can take it because I know it is a responsibility to do good but every now and again it's okay to scream right? You can see that he, he looks up and leans back into the box, kind of looking at the ceiling of the cavern. I don't know. I kind of grow numb to it all after the years. I just accept my lot and move on. Sure, it can feel good, but how many times must you scream before you break your vocal cords, right? <laughs> Rather save that energy. Do what I think is right, even if it sometimes ends in some cruelty. Yeah. Hey, um, before I forget, I want to apologize for stabbing you in the water earlier. Ah, uh, no worries. I was trying to drown you. <laughs> no hard feelings. <laughs> no hard feelings at all. It's, you know, occupational hazard, I suppose. <laughs> he gives a low <laughs> chuckle and starts to doze off as well. Uh, as you start to do that, I'm going to stand up and pace a room and walk over here. Mm -hmm. I'll stop here, but... You can hear the very dim, very soft and quiet chirping from the outside, kind of echoing throughout the cave from this direction of crickets and owls hooting. And the low panting sounds of Kuro. Anything you're going to do out here? I'm going to turn to the dog and go inside for just a moment. I'm going to watch <laughs> he doesn't move <laughs> does he know i'm there is he just like stationary looking off into the middle distance he he only follows my commands <laughs> and i'm asleep i just told his, his only command right now is to sit there and well, alert me if something dangerous is coming uh okay that's good uh i'll just take a step right here uh, i suppose that he can't talk to stuff, so that's good. Uh, for my watch, my two hours of waiting, uh, I am going to write until I can't think of anything more to put into this journal, and then I'm going to close it, put it away, put the quill away, and I'm going to put my back against the wall, and I'm going to stop thinking. I'm going to slide down 
collapse to the ground and go through a very personal panic attack while I have no one else watching. Aww. Oh, what? And that's what I will do for my for my hour oh, or my two no. hours. Aww. How fucking dare Aww. you? How fucking dare you do this to me? Side scene of Nathaniel all on his own. <sighs> okay. I mean, he's luckily he no one comes, is... no one passes through in yeah. those two hours. You're able to have it to yourself. Fantastic. Here is the thing: is that he will, he, if you want, he will comfort you. If he is commanded to recognize I, distress, with all, that with dog all, will stay with there. All, with all due respect, Aaron, <laughs> yeah. you can't have it both ways. Yeah, yeah. fair enough. Yep. If if that his command is right there. to sit there and watch, then sit that's what he's going watch. to do. Okay. Yep. All right. You can pet um, him. I have no feelings for the mechanical dog. <laughs> It is, oh. as, as far as Nathaniel is concerned, that dog isn't real. It just shaped like a dog. <laughs> it shapes and is, it, yeah, it's it's shaped and acts like one that is doesn't mean like according it is. to Enoch. <laughs> <Yeah>. According to <laughs> Enoch's <laughs> orders. Right? Yeah. Uh, he is well, to act like a dog. After those two hours times. are over, <laughs> I'm going to get back up. I'm going to, I am going to like fix up my very beat up disheveled, ripped in places clothes and I'm going to look as presentable as possible and then I'm going to turn around and I don't know who was saying they were say taking the second watch it's Luna. me uh, I'm going to shift <laughs> you awake well I'm not going to do all of that <laughs> uh, but I am going to shake you awake gently on the shoulder I okay I'm up, I'm up. anything happen? very good uh, no Okay. Go get some rest. I'm gonna move to these boxes. I'm gonna go the fuck to sleep. Okay. Defense mode. I would like to uh, also come sit out here because I would like a moment <laughs> away from everybody uh, while I'm on my watch to just contemplate today's events. That's all good with you guys. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Seeing uh, another person go through the, the pain of having family raised. Somebody else having uh, going through the pain of uh, watching family being raised. And uh, all the revelations with the Raven Queen and my dad's not actually there. So Luna's just going to pay attention on watch, of course. But she's going to be in silent contemplation for this uh Last what two hours? Watches are an hour, mm -hmm. two hours, right? Yeah, about two hours. Yeah, you may roll me a perception if you would like. Would love to. Eleven. Okay, with an eleven, you do hear the odd skittering kind of echoing through this direction. Probably some of the creatures of the caverns moving about the place. What you can assume, but otherwise, a mostly uneventful watch. And the sun rises, and you can see, kind of from the illusory entrance, that sunlight is coming through. It is now daytime, and you guys have finally finished a long rest. Don't forget to pet the Kuro. You oh reset God, all your resources. I finally rested. Not going to pet the Kuro. Pet the Kuro. I don't want to. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm awake. I'm alive. You I've got to max HP. HP. You get all of your resources, all of your spells yeah. back, all of that good stuff. Holy shit, give me my suggestion back. Give me back my spells! My mental of majesty, give me my misty step, that. give me all I my bardic that. inspirations. Oh my god. Uh, yes. All these spell slots. Oh my god. Could I be the one to wait, Kara, please? You Does may. Anybody have anything against that? You may. When you yes, go, horse does. When you go to wake her from her trance, you can see that she is entrancing. She's simply sitting. Staring at the wall, eyes open, breathing. Just gonna sit next to her for a few minutes. I'm gonna have to get moving soon. She sits there in silence for quite a while. I want to ask if you're going to be okay because, well, that's a dumb question, but are you well enough to move on now or do you need more time? Without turning her head, she just says in very soft tone, why do you go through so much trouble? All of you. These people have been battered and bruised and hurt and shunned. And yet you insist that they go back and ask for more. That I go back and ask for more. That protector friend you brought back. It'd be so much easier to turn him in. 
and he's done so much wrong in his life. I'd say he deserved it. I don't really think it can be looked at that way. Yes, on one hand, that protector has done terrible things and is responsible for a lot of pain. But on the other hand, when you are born, when you are, when you're born in a world that doesn't want you, what else can you do than fight back? I'm not going to blame someone's desperate situation. And you, do you want to keep fighting your entire life? Is that what you want for you and your people? I've been your done spouse. fighting. I don't want to fight anymore. I'm tired. I established Cloveway to get away from this. Well, unfortunately, until something is done about Belkinus, that fight's not going to stop. Kara, before we came here, we stopped an army of Warforge from being taken to Cloveway. How very noble. No, I'm not. This isn't... That wasn't me asking for praise that was telling you that the situation is getting more intense, more severe. People are becoming more and more extreme because they don't understand, and Belkinus doesn't want them to understand, and... I don't know why we keep going. Because that seems... Maybe it's because it seems like it's the only thing we can do. We've come so far now. Why would we... Why would you turn back? She says in a very... There's a very soft little chuckle. She shakes her head. Just like her. Before you have a moment to think, she just gets up and goes to grab her things. Ah. She doesn't say a word to you. She just gets ready for the day. Whatever your plan is, just let me know when you have one. I'm ready to go when the rest of the party is. She simply goes right. out to the pathway. Okay. Wait. Yes, I'll start nudging people awake if they're not awake already. Gently, of course. Oh, fuck. Hey, sorry. No, oh, it's okay. Oh, this is Does the, she pet Cora? Nice. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No one's trying to kick our asses right now, are they? No, no, I'm no. Not it's waking just, up to me. It's oh. just time to wake up. It's okay. It's time to wake up. It's alright. I have to double verify now because it's happened twice, which is not a lot, but it's weird that it's happened twice now. No, no. I, I understand, <laughs> though. Don't worry. We're safe. Let me just go. Nathaniel. <sighs> She's... Nathaniel. Dabby, you there? I am. Hey, okay, okay. okay. We can hear you. It's time to wake up. Please don't uh, make me dump water on you. If it's just words, Nathaniel's gonna stay asleep. Hold on, I got it. Renee's gonna throw her pillow at him. <laughs> all right, I'll, all right, I'll you, Renee to all right. this one. All right, uh, you throw the pillow, and as soon as it hits my face, I grab it, chuck it to the side, and <laughs> throw my hand forward, and I snap it wherever it came from. <laughs> <laughs> Renee's just like looking like she's done this enough times, and goes, "Good morning." Roll me an intelligence safe. Oh, Listen, God. that's fine. <laughs> I'm okay with this. <laughs> Watch me fail. Watch me fail. Let's go. Mind hey. you, I oh yeah. succeed. All right, you're fine. Uh, mind you, like it's very obvious from body language that I wasn't I, like I didn't mean to attack oh, yeah, Renee no. the She's person. I just She's body done this enough kicked times, in. Yeah, that she doesn't. That she actually doesn't mind at this point. So she just like. She, ta I, she still takes the psychotic damage, right? Or the psychic damage? <laughs> no, you take nothing. <laughs> oh, yay! She it's just, a like, it, like, stings off her head. She goes, good morning. <sighs> Don't do that. Right. Where's Kara? You know, she stepped outside for a moment, and I would ask that you'd let her have that moment. God damn it. Enoch, wake up. Come on. I Put shoot open. <laughs> Put your arm on. Put your armor on. Come on. Rusk. Mm. It's time to wake up. He he just kind of stretches awake. Ugh. Morning already. Yep. How you holding up? That's the stab wound. Uh, better. Hmm. Gonna be good enough to fight? Um, perhaps. But considering we're being hunted, uh, I thought perhaps I could stay and watch our flank until you find the route, make sure that it's safe, and then you can come get me. All right. Uh, the entrance isn't actually blocked by anything besides an illusion. Okay. So if okay. anything were to wander in, I would prefer to be sure to make it wander out. That's also also true. Uh, good idea. Good idea. Um, sure, we can come back for you. Let's see how that would be a problem. Renee. Hmm. Could I ask a favor? Uh, what is it? 
I imagine you might want to be sending to your brother. Fuck! Right. And why? Would you, would you potentially be able to send another message? If not, it's fine. I can... I have my... Once we get into the city, I have my ways. I just wanted to ask. I can. What do you want me to say? Would you just let Scorpio know I'll be heading to Falconist proper in the next couple of days? Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Thank you. If you want to mention I'm in Chester, sure, but I don't know where I'll be, so... Okay. I am, uh... By the way, today I'm swapping out one of my first level spells, uh... Uh, long strider and swapping it with this guy's self. Okay, okay. Yep, just letting you know. Mm -hmm. I am just gonna put my coat on, I guess. Or should I give it to Kara? I should probably give it to Kara. She doesn't have a cloak, does she? Anything to hide that? Not necessarily. She's, she's basically in her jammies. Jammies! Cool. But she, she has so does she have the bones and stuff on she her? She does, yes. Maharian. She always has the bones. And okay. this is not anything that you guys would know, but I don't know when I would have another chance to s have a proper chance to ever say this. But Kara basically doesn't give a shit what she wears. She just puts on mm. whatever's in her wardrobe at the moment. I appreciate this about this woman so much. Yo, As somebody I who feel lives that. their life in yoga pants, I appreciate this. <laughs> As somebody who lives to all their life in gym shorts, I get that. Mm -hmm. As, uh, I cl I wear normal people clothes, <laughs> friends. As, as we're as we're heading out, Renee's actually probably gonna like squeeze Nathaniel's shoulder a little bit and say, "Do you need anything?" To be out of these caves, I'm back in Belkis. Okay. I can do that. I'll be more careful. She just does a little tight squeeze and then keeps going. Yeah. So before Luna gives her coat, Renee, are you gonna do your sending? Uh, yes, I am going to send my messages. So first one to Francis. Princess! Um, so the, the message to start with. Um, the baby boy. Francis, it's Rene. We're okay. On our way into Chester City. Where can I meet you? You get a message back. Did you back. make it in? Oh, go on. <laughs> did, you, did you make it in? Uh, yes. Okay, so. His message back. I made it in. God took me. To be sure I wasn't hurt, I kept details low, Again. <laughs> found a trustworthy god. I don't like how that was worded, but I'm going to trust my brother to not be an idiot. <laughs> I hope that trustworthy god was my mom and no one I else. hope so too. <laughs> um, but also going to send the message to uh, Scorpio. Update from Luna. We are okay. Currently on the way to Belkinis proper, should be there in a few days. Hmm. Okay, and you get a message back. Glad... Glad she's alive. <laughs> we'll be waiting outside with supplies if you need any. <gasps> what a good man. Yes, you see why I keep him around. <laughs> He's I've, a fucking man's a reliable a man. Solid, I've solid been healing dude. well, but we'll stay... Out of your way. He better stay out of trouble, too. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Listen, just because he's not in our way doesn't mean he won't get into trouble. Boy, but anyway. the boy always gets into trouble. I can't fucking do anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay. It sounds like Francis is with the guards. Um, I was with a guard, so I have to figure out where the fuck that is. Um, and Scorpio said he's got shit for us once we get to the city proper. <sighs> that man's an angel. He really is. <laughs> Ironic, right? Let's waste I mean, no more time. He did nab a literal angel, so, you know, it worked. <laughs> Nathaniel, uh, hold the uh, traps. Wait. <laughs> She's like, kind I'm of not like, going her, any going further. She's like, wait. <laughs> I know right. there are traps. All right. So, uh, so that I don't have to completely role play it out. Uh, and just so that to keep things simple, Kara and Rushk will stay behind and cover the rear. Uh, until you guys have made sure that the path is safe. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Still in, in, which case, in which case, once you are finished mapping out the place, you may return to grab them and the horses. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Still making so, this woman take my coat so that she's not covered in bones. Mm -hmm. You put it on her and she bones. doesn't really... She like looks a little confused at first, but just lets it happen. And she's like, just a little bit of a sigh. The same kind of like sigh 
that she let out whenever all the kids were like, summon the cat, please summon the cat. She's just kind of oh. tired of shit. So. It's just to make sure you don't get, you know, recognized. It'll be fine. She just grumbles. <laughs> I love her so much. So down that path, let me just reveal real quick. So down that path, you can oh. see oh. that <laughs> there are supposed things. to see those. <laughs> you are supposed to see those. Oh. So you can what the see hell are those? that there are a few things. Firstly, <laughs> that there are kind of these little spots. I'm gonna let you know now. These little spots are some stalagmites, I think that's what they're called, the ones that are from the ceiling, that oh. are about to fall down, that are like cracks and nearly fallen, and Renee, you would know that they are actually magically imbued. Uh, ah, no, they're those are stalagmites. Those are stalagmites. Mites yes. are, Tights. Yeah, are on the floor. Ah, see, Thank I thought it was stalagmite because how I remembered it was it might fall on you, but I guess stalagmite <laughs> is... The one, okay. It's, it's, it's tight Google to the ceiling. Is totally fall There's no you. reason why they should be called different things. No, it only exists they eventually to confuse become people. A column, but you I, know, I, like I imagine Nathaniel Wells working for him, Renee, like grabs him and it just like points at the ceiling. Those things will literally fall the moment you step on them. I see They're, them. Okay. All right, and you can see that uh, you know Renee as well that the ones that have already fallen are also magically imbued. And so you can these see, things have triggered them or something You can see these them. things. These are Kuthriks. Kuthriks? Or sa- rather, Kruthik. Sorry, that's how it's pronounced. Kruthiks. Kruthik. Do I know what this is? You probably would, actually. These are kind of uh, reptile thingies, kind of like spidery subterranean creatures that kind of dig around for sources of heat. Well. And they usually travel in packs and small swarms. On a scale of one to Yeti, how dangerous are they? Uh, not the most dangerous, un- unless you are overwhelmed. Now, one or two on their own is not a big threat. It's when they get in a massive swarm, and if they are led by a hive lord, that they're extremely dangerous. However, these two get close to the stalactite and kind of pick at it a little bit, as this one had recently fallen, and it starts to shake. And they both scatter as uh, they are both kind of like hit by this arcane energy that ruptures out from the stalactite. And they kind of dig and panic and dig into the sides of the walls. Well, that's good to know. Don't touch anything. <laughs> let's, let's, let's get to know those things are rolling around here, too. Wonderful. Oh, they're silverfish. Well, I, I, loved the, I loved the sound of... <laughs> <laughs> hopefully they won't cause us too much trouble. Enoch, send oh, yeah. Koro out first. You know what? Yeah, you right. Uh, I'm gonna have Kuro Scout start just making his way around, oh, and he's just gonna I float walk off a the floor bit with Kuro, just cause you I'm may, like yeah, familiar with where we're going. You may, yeah. Okay. Uh, I will command him to have him follow your orders, Renee, because you're gonna you would know this place a little bit better. So he's just gonna. Move around to your to your will for whatever time you need him. Oh, well, I appreciate that. Um, yeah. I'm gonna send Kuro just a little bit ahead, like there ish. Okay. okay. When Kuro gets there, I'm gonna reveal more of the map. He. And you can see that just as uh, just as Rush instructed, the path splits. Oh. Mm-hmm. No, it's okay. This is this is it makes sense. <laughs> So we want to go to the left. So if I'm send to the boy left? This, if I'm remembering this right. But I want him to go very slowly. Like, no, don't run into it. Okay. He will like, He will move at, at the pace you want him to. I'm going to use my sight beyond sight. I'm moving. <laughs> so, okay, before, let's slow down a bit. Oh, holding up. Holding so, Renee, yep. I'll okay. say when you get there and when Kuro mm-hmm. reaches about here, Right, where? When Kuro okay. reaches about there, oh, okay. you can see that there's something that you wouldn't know that this is new, that it's not, you know, you don't remember this happening as being part of the, the path, that there's something that reaches out and it seems to attack Kuro. Oh. Uh, what's your Sorry, passive Kuro. perception, Renee? 
I believe it is a passive perception 14. 14. Okay, you would probably see this. You see that embedded in the wall is what just reached out to strike Kuro and what is Kuro's AC again? Uh, I be- <laughs> it's not high. Not high. <laughs> Okay, fifteen would probably uh, hit, eight. right? Yeah, fifteen okay. hits. He has a Fif- he has a thirteen for AC. Fifteen hits, and you see something reach out from the wall. Okay, yeah, no, Kuro is down. Oh shit! <laughs> it's a gargoyle. What does it look like? A dark? Oh, what? You can the see a stone that? carved <laughs> creature oil. kind of come almost like come out of yep. the wall. It was as it was embedded in and swipe at How Kuro, striking him down. How oh, is this, is this poor dog gonna get down? At least once more. Uh, well, can I? And then I it, it goes back into the wall, seemingly okay. blending in, but you know where it is now. Oh, merde. I was hoping I wouldn't have to worry about this. Someone has been down here already. So Kuro will have to be mended. That's okay, yeah. I got it. Hold on. L- look how uh, they nobody, massacred nobody, my nobody boy. Move, nobody move, it's okay. Let's just. It's all right. I wasn't expecting it. I have I have mending, so I can actually mend Kuro. Yes. Renee, uh, when you get there, you just... a swipe comes out from the darkness. That's fine. <laughs> Renee? That's fine. No, and it's not. You are also attacked by another gargoyle. Okay. Uh-oh. Shoot. It's the gargoyle. Blah, 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 blah. And it takes a swipe at you, and you take... Oh, it got over my DC? A... Oh, your DC. What is your DC for what? Or, or my, my DC, I mean AC, but armor class. But yeah, your armor class is real DC. low, isn't it? It is. It's Sweeney Hat Juniors. <laughs> I, I just sh- wanted to make sure. Yeah, no, it, it made... <laughs> I didn't know if it was auto or not. Yeah, I thought, okay, I didn't know if you could, like, no, cast fair. something on yourself. Okay, no, yeah, no, no, it swipes no, 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 at you, fair. and you take 12 slashing damage as this gargoyle oh, swipes wow. at you. Okay. And Can then I yell? <laughs> retracts back into the wall. All right, Panay, please, All right. come back. Take the dog and come back. Please. All right. I have an idea. Same thing I did at the campsite. It can go a thousand feet. All right? I can just look through, tell you what I'm seeing, and you can direct me which way to go. If something attacks it, no one gets hurt. Please. <sighs> well, Kur- Kuro's back up uh, because I know mending. Yeah, mending. So. Yeah, I'll say, I'll say he's back yeah. up. Uh, I, back I, I, roll, I rolled his health. Okay, awesome. Should I... be fine. Is that fine? I'll put him back here where it's safe. Question. Answer. Are the gargoyles natural or artificial? From what you remember, there were, me. <laughs> there were no gargoyles when you got you and your exactly. group built this place. Exactly. These are so that's new. What I'm wondering. Are those? But are they like? Are they like creatures or are they like something that's been like created? Hmm. Perhaps some investigation might be in order. I would like to investigate. Hi-ya. Investigations. Investigations. They got okay. a twelve. With a twelve, you can tell that these things are not exactly like the gargoyles that you've heard about. You know, you guys know what gargoyles are. Uh, not only just the inanimate object, but also the creature. But these things have de- definitely been created in some way similar to a construct. <sighs> Fuck me. They guard the path. What? <laughs> she kind of at least step over her mouth. From- like she's kind of like you. You see her. She's like she's hearing you, but she's like contemplating something on the side. Well, can you contemplate that away from? The sure. Gargoyles? Are they gonna hit Fuck. You, yep. Actually, but, uh, do they look like they're rearing up for another attack? Uh, <clears throat> you can see that when she steps away, they do kind of like sink into the wall. It's when she stepped forward into that area, and when Kuro went into this area, that they reached out and slashed once. So it's just the whole line. They are. Traps, not yes. even real. Oh, well, whatever they, they are. are, those things are a pain in the ass to deal with. I know, but I. We'll have to get through <sighs> them somehow anyway. I have an idea. Yes, if it's sending your dog through there. No, no, no. Who, uh, who is the most? Who would you say is the most familiar of the protectors? Like, like top dog. That's the thing. It's a, it's a mess. Someone new. We don't know anymore. Least. Yeah. I I want to bank. I want to bank on the idea of uh of that Earth Genasi we met that we met. Okay, and she's in jail. And the other one is dead. I want to use disguise self. (laughs) Yep, and I'm going to make myself. All right, go ahead and use disguise self. (laughs) 
gonna use disguise <laughs> self. So you're gonna I, disguise I'm yourself gonna... to be like uh, Castilia, yeah? Oh my yes. god. Yes. Er, the Earth Genasi. Yep. You know what? And you can certainly try. Go for I, it. I'm assuming. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming she was the one who put these here. This is so. This is so curious. All right, and I'm gonna take a step. All right. So and you see if they attack. You disguise yourself as Castilia. You walk forward, and the closest one, which is going to be the right one, reaches out and swipes at you. God damn oh, it! Unfortunate. I knew it. I knew it. I thought. Luckily, it doesn't break. It doesn't break your AC, so you're able to dodge out of the way before. Uh, just kind of dodge out of the way, so it misses you. Okay. And Can I still keep you, going? Uh, you may keep going, actually. It was just a single swipe. And as you walk forward, you can see Enoch. over here, this direction, that there is some kind of small creature, kind of, you see the silhouette of a small creature. And as you step close, it skitters away. That's uh. a little far for comfort. And this direction, you can yeah. hear some very echoey croaking, low croaking. Okay. Well, I'm dropping disguise self. That was a waste of time. <laughs> I was a waste of time in a spell slot. <laughs> yes, but it did make me laugh, so, you know. Can... It seems uh, our only yeah, recourse is we can like see through another... I... Oh, another level of vengeance I, th I didn't think was possible. Nathaniel, what did you say? Our only recourse seems to be that we can just run through it. Or, it doesn't... you know, fuck that. Absolutely fuck that. And... I would like to summon my Echo 15 feet right here and just fucking teleport. All right. <laughs> so you don't have to do it I, wait, actually, I have, a, I have an answer to this as well. I have an answer to this as well. Yes, you do. I'm going to turn. I'm going to call back. Kara, Rosk, come closer. <laughs> you, they, Watch they, out for the stalactite. They follow the echo of your orders, and Rush comes up, and he notices the gargoyles, and he goes, Oh, that's new. Yeah, yes. just a bit. Do you Nothing know to worry anyone, about. Do you know if anyone's been in here? Well, um, last time we used this route was uh, nigh on a, a year ago. Okay. So, could be possible someone else has moved in? Hmm. Uh, ooh. I have a question, since I... I know I didn't technically know about this place, but do I know about any new factions that might be rising in Chester? Hello. <laughs> hmm. You can give me a history check. Actually, your, sure. your history stat, rather, so that we'll take that sure. instead of just like, yeah, what's your oh, history stat? Oh, my stat's a plus one. Plus one. Um, I'm banking on this purely because I work can in I, that. Can I, I give her advantage by? Scene. Can I give her advantage by reminding her of something? Well, she's not rolling anything. Actually, we'll take whoever has the highest history stat just to see, like, if you want to, okay. like, <laughs> in, like, just functionally mm -hmm. talking among yourselves, who would have moved in here? Mm -hmm. Nathaniel does not have the highest history stat. I think that's I Renee. A, I have a plus two in history. Plus two. Oh, Enoch? wait, <laughs> Enoch. Uh, as for history, plus five. Plus oh, five. That's okay. Enoch, then. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, no, the thing Enoch. I was going to say is that, well, remind us, Sean Dwyer was very not, very to the point about how I am literally responsible for two groups forming just out of the blue, so just hands. <laughs> Enoch, uh, with your history of the Kingdom of Balconus, you know that there's no faction that really likes to hide underground. You know, everyone's trying to make a name and make a reputation for the most part, because, you know, Balconus is the land of opportunity and you need to sort of make a name for yourself, even criminal organizations like the Protectors. Whoever's down here, they're either a new, something new or not from Balconus. Ooh. Hmm. 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 I relay this to the entire party. <laughs> Sexy. Okay. Yep. <laughs> hmm. Uh I haven't done my teleport trick yet, um, because I realize that I don't want to leave Renee to do this alone. I might want oh, to walk Oh, it's with fine. You. And now that I know it's there, I can just do a fucking cartwheel or whatever. Well, I, I also could... This will be very easy. Don't worry. Yeah, don't worry about it. Go go on, teleport. <laughs> Two of you, come we closer. Need you in, we need you in peak condition anyway, because at the very least, I can take myself out of combat when I need to. Switch your room. So, right. There she goes. <laughs> You two get I think, closer. I think Kara oh. would would have oh. less of a problem. Oh, what are you doing? With the two of you need to get closer. 
Mm, they look at each other and they look at you and uh, Rusk trusts, but um, Kara just simply stands there, crosses her arms. Why? I'm going to let out a very exasperated sigh. <sighs> if I was going to do something dangerous, perhaps it would have been only the fish and not our intended target. <clears throat> but if you must know, I am going to charm all of us across using the same pink wires that I always use. <gasps> they, they make it so that things are unable to attack in time. Oh. We will all be pushed across very easily. Unless, of course, you would rather be swiped by the gargoyle. Kara simply just like at that just doesn't portray like any change in her just grump grumpy bitch face walks forward turns her staff into the bony shield walks by the gargoyle the gargoyle swipes at it and walks through (laughs) that's what I meant by she wasn't going to have any trouble getting through this I very much doubt you knew that about it you know come on now I'm going to wave my hand. How many times pink lines. that shield now? Uh, twice. I'm going to wave my hand. Pink li- lights or pink lines are going to come out. Connect with me, Kuro, the fish, and Renee. And the fish. The fi- he's a lizard. <laughs> he is he's a, a lizard man. Be fucking racist. The reptile. Sir, this is a Denny's. And you are able to traverse past the two gargoyles. And I'll say, since you know what to look out for, you notice that there are two more. Motherfucker. Right it's here. okay. This just means that we have to, you know, not rely on everything all the time and just be quick about it. Okay. Mm. Well, I would I would say this particular jump, I would be cautious about going in too fast, because, you know, well, if I remember correctly, and Rush, you can verify me with this, but there's a giant fucking hole. <laughs> oh, there is, and uh, lots of bats, and uh, might need to be a little bit more quiet. Right. I want to take a closer look at the gargoyles. Um, not getting like close, close, but like mm-hmm. I just want to eye them a little bit more. Like you eye them, and you can see that they are, you know, just as still as the stone around you themselves. And you can see that they do appear to be carved out of a different type of stone than the stone around the place, uh, even if they are embedded in the wall very nicely. You know, just as Enoch said, that it seems like it's from no. a different place, a different type of stone. Not no native to Balkanus. No way. No, no, no. <sighs> so, which way do we go? Left or right? Uh, uh, left. Left. And can I please send this down first so we can avoid casualty? If it's a bunch of bats, then it's better than it flies it. They fly at this thing and not anything else. Well, the, the thing is, you don't know what else is in the hole. And yes. so sending down the rock might send something else back up. We'll deal with it, send the echo. Need an inception sound at the okay, sound of well, hole. Somebody please Ooh. just keep your hand on my shoulder or something so that I don't uh, get uh, destroyed by something that tries to uh, attack me. Um, and just to skip the the the, 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 the fucking gargoyle bullshit, because I know they'll probably yeah, smack like, it. I, I would say, I, like, you could make it, like, with enough trial and error, like, even if they did smack it, I'm gonna say Echo makes it through, because you could just summon him again. Or yeah, her again. yeah, Echo comes back as long as I'm up. Okay, so. so um, I just won't go into my Echo avatar state until right. I know it's across. So, when you get across, because it is an eventuality, you can see that there's a massive hole, and at the top of the oh, hole, no. there's a bunch of giant bats <laughs> sleeping. Well, just perched cool at the very, my, very top. Cool thing is, I don't think my echo makes any noise if it walks uh, a foot above the ground, which it can. It can walk in any orientation, which is what makes the echoes fucking broken. <laughs> you could just fly. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda, yeah. Um, you remember when we were in the in the factory? This was pointed out in the comment section that Luna's Echo could have just walked up to that bastard who was sitting on the platform because they're not technically objects. Uh, <laughs> they're just that's a dumb. <laughs> now, when, Interesting. when you do come into this room and uh, you see all these bats, you can also see kind of on the other side of this kind of just hole and this path that you would normally need to walk. You see, with very clearly, a kobold. And when the oh kobold sees your echo, 
It simply skitters away. Oh, oh shit. Up the path. Uh, well, Luna is blind and deafened right now, but I assume that I can still regulate my voice enough to not scream. Uh, there's a kobold. Just ran. Oh, Melda, of course there is. Of course there is. We should oh. be able to get around there for quite enough. They're all, all right. Then let's be quick and quiet. Okay, how far away is my echo? Yeah, when I come out of it, the echo just disappears. Because <sighs> I can only it can only go that far away from me when I'm in its in its head. Is that allowed to disable these? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I could, I absolutely fucking. Do you want to try something? A riddle. I I know I do. Uh, Pop it in the head, see if it folds. I have the next best idea that I can think of. These things are rather resistant to damage done by not uh, non magical weapons, so I well am kind of useless <laughs> here. At risk of letting those giant bats know our uh, location oh, i am don't. only i am only going to just pull out the rapier and that is it is, the guns um, are away is the rapier magic god i fucking wish then physically we can't kill these things but it's going to be hard <laughs> yeah I... uh well what if i what if i don't <laughs> and i would like to stealth wait 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 Cammy was trying to say something. Um, Renee actually looks back at uh, Nathaniel because she can probably she can see the other side of this, right? Yes, you can see just like you know what you remember of the uh, of the path that you know this path goes down you know like a big U shape, and then on the mm -hmm. other side there's a path upwards. Um, if you don't mind me returning the favor, um, I might be able to at least get. One person over to the other side, without having to worry about making too much noise. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, let me try one thing first. You said it was a kobold. Yes. Uh, I looked to Luna. Yes, it was a, a kobold. It just saw my e it saw the echo and then scattered north. Well, here goes nothing. I look over towards one of the gargoyles and in Draconic, I say, leave. What are these? You can yeah. see the gargoyle sink into the wall. Oh my god! <gasps> oh my god! What? Both of them what? What sink into the wall, as well as these two as well. She just looks at that and then looks over to Nathaniel. I continue oh, walking. I have no a... patience. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Yeah, no, be careful. Be quiet now. It's back. Yep, so I'm going to need uh, a stealth roll from everybody. Okay. So I should okay. uh, say I roll stealth at disadvantage because I am wearing tank mail. Mm. Uh, before we go in there, <laughs> uh -huh. I'm going to turn to Renee. Renee, are you able to silence an area? Uh, no, I'm not. Damn. Perhaps you want to take Luna. Luna is <laughs> out right now. Uh, are you sure? Um, Luna's going to like move her arm and you're just going to hear the clinking of chain mail. Okay, okay, Kara, okay, 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 Kara okay, steps okay. up. She says, I have something if you can tolerate a bit of necromancy. What is it? The bats. I want to deafen them. They said that the bats were more afraid of us than we were of them, so the worst case scenario, they will fly out, really. Or they get really hungry because they just woke up and uh, we look like some delicious Question. snack like Mr. Lemon Man here. Uh, I think uh, we all... Question. Just, just again, Monster Hunter general knowledge. Um... Are bats defensive or are they aggressive? So <laughs> these things are huge. Of course they're aggressive. That doesn't. That's not necessarily true. Not there are necessarily plenty of large true. animals hey, that just, are defensive. What about all those beetles that we saw earlier? Huh? They were huge and they didn't attack us. Just as they, just they as Ru us. Rushk would. Uh, just as Rushk said. Now these things, you know, from what you know about giant bats. And just bats in general, they do consider this their home, and they will consider you guys a threat to their home, and they will panic, most likely flee. Uh, however, they are willing to defend themselves. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if they wake up, I might have a suggestion. These things, they'll, they'll don't defend, defend that. They'll, sorry, I'm having a hard time talking. They will defend their home, but 
they will more than likely flee if they think we're a threat. As long as so, we just need to route, act big. Yes, it's like okay. dealing. It's like dealing with a bear. Make yourself look bigger and more scary, and that you are a bigger match than them. Make a loud noise. Make yourself physically look bigger. Or if you don't want to be noticed at all, make yourself smaller. And f- just don't stand in the middle of a path that they might want to run through. So maybe keep this one clear. Okay. Like the one that we're, uh, for, my ping didn't go off. For now, if we really want to get over there to try and reach the kobold, I can at least get you and me over there. Uh, sure, because I, I, I like, I, sorry, I'm not the best at being quiet when I'm in my office. No, listen, I would rather give everyone a chance at being stealthy before everything goes to shit. Mm-hmm. So. And, uh, Hara, if you would like to try and deafen the bats, I have no objection against it. Hmm. Anyone with, else? I'll see I, what I, you I do with your plan. <laughs> Just I thumbs have. up. Uh, she will t- uh, reach out for Luna's hand. Luna will take it. I am casting Dimension Door! Oh, Yay! Nice. Yay! This is one of my favorite spells. I and use this can, so much. It goes much. up to 500 feet. No, this so is a verbal can... component, so I'm going to need a stealth check ah, from you. Ah, shit. <laughs> Goodbye. Ah, shit. Uh... Ah, uh, Could I help her because I am technically proficient in stealth? You know what? Sure. You may roll Ooh. stealth with, with advantage. Thank you! <laughs> Cover her mouth as she's oh, about to God, yell loud. Really Holy mattered. shit! 21. That really mattered. 21. 21. <laughs> okay. okay. You dimension... Dimension door. It goes up to 500 door. feet, so I can go... I, I'm gonna go... 75 feet over and then up that way. All right. I can, I can go up to there-ish. All right. You grab Luna and you guys see as just kind of like they move on over, almost like vanish and appear almost instantaneously in this other <gasps> spot across she like looks over the, <laughs> the, cav- the, the little cavern. She looks over to Luna with like a sort of cheeky smile. That's the first time I've ever used that spell. And you can see that one of the giant bats just like twitches a little bit. Yeah. And just a little squeak. Oh, Luna, when you said that was the first time using this spell, Luna looks at you mildly horrified. <laughs> She's like, oh, come on, you trust me with literally everything else. I'm learning this shit as I go. I don't understand magic. You learn how to fight as you go with animals, right? Uh, okay, fair, fair, fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Same thing, just with magic. <laughs> Come on. Let's go, let's go. Okay, okay. I'm like, I'm for the bats, I'm for the bats. I will be hanging back a bit just to help if, in case the bats yep. do wake up. So we can, we can figure out how the rest of the party fares. Nathaniel, you were, you were calling out to Kara? You may cast your spell. She narrows an eyebrow at you. Well, now that you're encouraging me, I don't think I want to. <laughs> oh, come on. And Nathaniel will let out a very really exa- want to see this. Nathaniel will let out a very exasperated sigh. <sighs> and I suppose I will be eaten by bats. Oh, I would like that very much, but very well. She steps forward. <laughs> <laughs> and is going to cast Blindness Deafness. And going to need to roll a stealth. She's not as spry as she used to be, so let's see if she can make hushed whispers. I love her so much, it's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> the hushed whisper echoes throughout the cavern. And one of the bats, it seems that she was able to deafen a lot of them. However, one of the bats seems to stretch its wings a little bit and looks around and notices you all. No! It is not reacted uh, as, yet. Uh, as it does, fuck. Uh, they're, they're deafened, so it's fine. Uh, as it does, I'm going to reach my hand out and snap my finger and I'm going to cast Charm Monster. Whoa! Whoa! Charm Whoa! Monster! Whoa! Whoa! Hello, Shit. Nathaniel! Okay. Yep. Hello, nurse. Ah, uh, animaniacs. Okay. That was yeah. such a good show. Ironically, <laughs> their wisdom is not the worst. <laughs> it fails. Oh, oh uh, thank God. The, the, bur- the, the bat fails or my spell fails? The bat fails, the DC. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay, it regards us as a friend. We're all yep. fi- fine here. We uh, are friends. Simply looks so- at you, Nathaniel, and it just like lifts its wing and kind of like goes to nibble at something underneath its wing. And just kind of stretches it a little bit, but goes and just, just sta- uh, kind of stays there, perched upside down, watching you. It doesn't alert the others. Uh, after doing that, I'm going to glance over to Kara. See, you do care. <laughs> 
and I'm going to walk. Smack him in the face she, right now. She oh, is speechless this. at that. She just... Uh, you... Oh. I, as I walk by, I kind of shrug my shoulders. It's like, yeah, that's just how it goes around here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I... You, you say this, and uh, you can see Rusk <laughs> is like, oh, this is a little fun. I might have to stick around after this. <laughs> oh, I would like that very much. I've come to enjoy your uh, presence. Oh, thanks. Who says enemies can't be friends? Right? <laughs> Kara is just hobbling <laughs> using her stick as a walking stick as she follows behind Nathaniel. Kind of. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to put you guys at the very end. As, I, I will say, as soon as my like face is turned away from uh, Kara, the like perfectly straight uh, face there. melts into aggravation. Oh. <laughs> All right. The I next leg of your journey. Ahead of us. The the Hydra path that uh, was described. Yep. So this is exactly why I was saving certain things. So you see this path and this path, and doo -doo 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 -doo. let me just delete these. Can I grab these, please? Do we want to pick up any supplies? I mean, the Scorpio is going to be meeting us with some. I think we should be okay. If you say so. I have golden spades. We can buy whatever we need. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can see Rusk looks up. He's kind of like hesitant. He's like trying to get a word in to speak, but he's like kind of like a little bit embarrassed. What is it? Uh, What's up? Well, seeing as uh, the protectors aren't using this place anymore, mayhap uh, they might not need a few things, and uh, perhaps some kind of merchants might pay a pretty price for it. I mean, it's what? already down here. I mean, if you want to, sure, but. Mm. I put my hand up. What exactly do you want to take from this place? You can see that he he's a little bit startled at your tone. Oh, um, I don't know, just one of us lying around. It's been a year since I've been here. and Just wanted to see what was left, is all. And how much exactly do you believe you will get from it? Well, I'm not so sure. If there's nothing of value there, then no harm done, yeah? 30 gold. I'll reach into my pouch, pull it out, and we skip the side quest. Oh, all right. He just looks a little concerned, pockets the gold. <laughs> I just right. cast him. As soon as Nathaniel like turns no, turns his back, she's just going to step up and be like, we don't know either, but I'm just going to go with it. Is he having a bad day? So, you guys head up. You can see will, that yeah. there's another one of these. Uh, stalag mice. Yeah, we probably need to go that way that Luna's going. It looks cause... like the snake woke up on the wrong and side. And because you figured out the thing, I'm just gonna reveal fucking the gargoyles that, uh... Haha. -ha. And they will not pay you any mind, since you already know to speak to them in your conic. <laughs> I'm just gonna put them oh, there to show that I did thanks, prep this. Nathaniel. I'd like to do something real quick, if it's alright. Oh, sure. I'm gonna look at this gargoyle and in draconic I'll say, do you speak? <gasps> Ooh. You're asking it if it speaks. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Who knows? It says nothing in return. Understood. Actually, no. Uh, I'll, I'll just, just to be extra sure, speak to me. It simply kind of like slowly comes out of the rocky wall and speaks in, it says in draconic, praise be the dragons. Mm. Oh. <gasps> no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. Name your controller. <laughs> My controller is Wrinkle Moss. Write that down, write that down. Hey, who? X. Wrinkle Moss. That's right, that's what he said. I am okay. confused. Confused did I am. Consider me flabbergasted. How many of them are there? No response. Damn it, it doesn't know. This is, I'm talking to a rock. <laughs> you are literally talking you to a rock. literally talking to rocks. All right. I don't think I'm going to get any more information out of this thing. So, oh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to get any for, more reasonable information out of this thing. So I'll wave my hand and in Draconic, leave. Yep. And they all sink into the wall in unison. <sighs> no longer a threat to you. And you I guys avoid it. all the traps. I so painstakingly laid. Eat, eat. I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry. Listen, you guys man. figured it out. I, I laid them, and the solution is yours. And you found a solution. Who am I to say it doesn't work? 
I wave my hand. I use my ungodly perception. I see everything. Yep. Okay. I break D and D. So, I broke. I made a. I made a bad character. You guys, you guys yeah. head upwards to what is supposed to be the path that splits off like several heads of a hydra, but you can see that the different paths have been closed, including the <gasps> exit that seems to be blocked by a massive rocky boulder. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. The only by paths- massive rocky boulder, is this like you have, we have no chance in hell of moving this kind of massive <laughs> rocky boulder? Only one way to find out. Now, the only paths that are left, according to that are still there, is the path north that would have been a, a kind of trap room to a s- hidden supply cache and to the south, which would have been a trap to a monster. And you can see, kind of in this room, right above what looks to be two other kind of holes, similar to the one with the bats, you can see that there's a massive Kruthic Hive Lord sleeping. A hive? Oh, so the fucking head of one of these things hives. Mm Mm-hmm. Now, mm. I know that I know that the other ones are, are dangerous uh, uh, when they're swarmed. How dangerous is the uh, so, uh, the head of a hive? The hive lord, on its own, is a decent challenge. However, its main threat <laughs> is the ability is to the summon horde. hivelings. And so the little ones that we saw skittering away earlier, diving into the burrows? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. we don't want to wake this thing up. We need to be very, very, very quiet. Unless we, oh. we are going to be in for one hell of a fight. These things are pain in the ass. Why the fuck? How the fuck? What the fuck? Correct me if I'm wrong, but that was the exit. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was. It was the exit. Mm-hmm. How are we to leave? <laughs> exactly. Potentially move the rocks and find another way. Surely there is more than one way out of it. <sighs> Please tell me that there was more than one way out of here. It was built to have one one path through that was straight if you knew where to go. Somebody fucked it up. Well, All these fucking things fucked it up. Like she's gesturing at the like hive lord. It's been a year. Well, second option then. Kill the hell out of this thing because if we stop moving rocks it's gonna wake up anyway. And um, then we can take our way out. I can put it out of my misery. How long do these things normally live for? These things? Yeah. Hold on. Let me look at it out and see if it just dies of natural causes. No, 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 no. no. I have a stupid ass, crazy, fun idea if it works. I didn't know I'd look up Kruthic lifespan. (laughs) Listen, I'm sorry, but listen. I have a stupid ass crazy fun We're idea because Renee. I helped engineer these fucking things. And if these things lived in these tunnels, do I know this baby? Did I know this baby? Is this you, baby familiar with me? You did not know this baby. And oh, funny enough, they actually don't live all that long. Apparently, according to the Forgotten Realms fandom wiki, so, uh, you know, with a grain of salt, most Kruthix yeah. died before reaching their final stage of life at five or more years. That makes me so sad. That stage was the Hive Lord. They encased themselves, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. So, basically, no more than 10 summers, most likely. There's got to be some sort of way because we, you saw a kobold run through here, right? Yes, but it could have yeah. gone down that way. It could have snuck past this thing without being noticed. <sighs> and Nathaniel's right. We don't have a lot of time. Okay. I'm sorry. Fuck. Okay. No, you don't have anything to be sorry for. So My uh, stupid fucking passageway. No, but you didn't know about this. So, we can try to put that, take that thing out. And then move the rock. Yeah. That sounds like the best plan. Then, All right. before you go shooting it, can I get closer, please? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna activate... My ring of haste. All right. Wait, whoa, 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 we're well, actually going to fight it? Uh, I'm going to turn to Kara. I'm Kara. going to attempt to put this thing out of its misery before it can even well, call on. for well, anything. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I'm going to turn to Kara. Kara, what do you think? She uh, simply crosses her arms, leans back, and has a little bit of a smirk. I don't know, Witch Taker. You're in charge of this operation. You and your party are leading me. Oh, How do you that's... think we should take care that's of this? So fucking sassy oh my oh. god oh but you seem so smart are you 
do you mean that you don't have an answer? As I'm standing between these two. (laughs) (laughs) At the back sass, you can see her narrow her eyes a bit and her smirk disappears. Perhaps you would like me to solve all of your problems for you, Mr. Mr. Gainsby. No, just the one. (laughs) God. Okay, both of y'all, both of y'all, both of y'all, stop. I'm going to have to throw both of you at this thing. You both are very, very smart ladies, and we can put our heads together and send a bump at them, okay? Kara, (laughs) Kara, (laughs) Kara leans back kind of into the wall. I will help if my assistant is asked for. Nicely. I will ask for it. I will, will you, I will politely have... ask for it. I, I will, like, I'll turn to Kara, and I'll put one hand behind my back, one hand in front. Kara Maharian, I beseech your wisdom. Please, assist us. And I'll give a bow. She just, her arm, her crossed arms just flop down. Fine. She steps up kind of looks around, points up at the stalagmites at the top. Those things, they're magically imbued, yes? Mm -hmm. These things live underground. They don't hear a lot of noise. They must have sensitive hearing. And those stalagmites, when they fall to the ground, I notice they cause some sort of rupture. We can surround it with those. Perhaps we can cause it to, I don't know, be too loud for it to bear, causing it to retreat. Oh, I might have an idea for that. <gasps> I have a. I also have an idea. <laughs> I'm gonna take out my journal and write something down. Well, while well, everyone's got ideas, I'm gonna peek down this way. You're gonna peek down that way? All right. Yeah, just a little bit. Peek down that way. You can see that there's a massive chest there. Oh! Massive oh, no, ornate chest. No! 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 <laughs> hey! Hey! It's huge. <laughs> it's the size only, of a carriage. Only Renee has seen it. So only Renee has seen it. No. Trap. Only <laughs> Renee has seen it. <laughs> only I've seen it. I know this is Aaron talking. <laughs> no, Aaron, no, no. I'm, I'm, Aaron, we this got is my character moment. <laughs> no, this is good. Um, Renee is gonna look at it. I'm squinting. Have I seen that chest before? That's new. You have seen that chest before. You know exactly. You know exactly what that chest is. What is it? You, I'm gonna give you three guesses. <laughs> it's it's a lot of money. Yeah, that, yeah that, that's right. Good job. Well done, Renee. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, that's a mimic down here. To trap any any unruly treasure hunters who might want to steal the protector supplies. And thought, hey, there's some good supplies in there. <laughs> <laughs> Renee is just going to look at that. Go back. Enoch, you're not going to believe it. There's a giant fucking treasure chest in there. You wouldn't <gasps> really? believe. No, it's a fucking monster. <laughs> Damn it. Renee. <laughs> Renee, we... I, I owe you a drink for that. <laughs> Are you really expecting me to go there? Because I really would have. Honest to God, I I have expected it, which is why I told you very quickly that it was a good thing. <laughs> I actually would have. <laughs> to be honest, Sounds I wouldn't have it. questioned you for a second. <laughs> so Enoch's four choices aside. <laughs> Sorry. Are we going to just? Uh, is the plan to try to set off the traps? Is that is that the plan? The stalactites, yes. I was gonna ask if I because I do I remember these stalactites being magically imbued before? Yes. So would I be aware that casting a spell on it or hitting it with something wouldn't necessarily make it fall? Like you have to be underneath it, or is it literally just? I would whatever say hits being it underneath down? it or hitting it, like basically any okay, sort of small sure. trigger. Cool. I have the perfect solution to this problem. Are you going to shatter the ceiling? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem is that I might cave in the whole fucking thing. <laughs> well, that's uh, a little... Maybe that's a potential. Good idea. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I'm not even sure if the echo will trigger it, so do we want to test it and see if, it, if the, the echo, echo can trigger it? If the echo does work and you can like run it through all of them, 
That'd be great. <laughs> yeah, like literally, I can just keep resummoning and, and echo avataring because it's oh, only yeah, an action. There, summon it there, summon it there. You I... can summon it. <laughs> yes, do it. Wait, I have a better idea. What if we wake up the mimic? And have the monster go after Let the them mimic. fight. <laughs> yes! <laughs> to the death. I really want okay. this monster on your moment. Please. That's be, such a good idea. I actually think that it'd be, it, it, for the easier solution, it would, I think, be to put the summon in there. Like, just because it's so much easier to as summon as summon at this point. As much as I would love a kaiju battle. As much as kaiju yeah, battle would yeah, take I, any pink. I, I, I think that I the smarter solution to... would be the echo. Yeah, I, I just wanted to have the fun, but like, if not, then not. I, I, I thought it was, I thought it was dumb to start with. I think that's a little with. too chaotic for the mood right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, there's yeah. also no, there's also no guarantee that it will go fight this thing. Exactly. That is so true. They might just try to fight both We can us. guarantee the Echo's there to help us. We can't <laughs> guarantee a Mimic is going to help us. We, we can't guarantee that that they're going to fight each other. Instead, look at each other, shake hands, and then look at all of us. Exactly. So let's let us let the Echo run in there and yep. cause chaos. Yep. Luna's I very just much gonna, appreciate you. Luna's going to just, I think she'll come over to you, Renee. Take your shoulder mm -hmm. because she needs somebody to alert her when shit goes down because I'm yep. blind and deafened when this happens. Yep. And uh, Echo is just going to start, you know, making her <laughs> make way down. Making my way. Ah, ah, ah. Why are you running? Uh, <laughs> why are you running? Just... All right. So uh, you're going to trigger all the different traps then? Yeah. I just I will, honestly <laughs> would just love her just to, to be able to walk through. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to move her there. Sorry, I'm, I'm struggling. I would just want to be able to have her walk through a line, if possible. All right. Okay. And then you can also kick this if you want to, because that'll also set that <laughs> one that off. I, that I can do, because technically that... <laughs> well, no, I don't think I can do that if she's within... Um, this is more like she's just she's just it, something that can walk around. Ah, um, okay. I don't think I can attack when I'm in Avatar Echo. I don't think... That's it fair. doesn't say anything about it, but I wouldn't imagine I can considering okay. the echo needs to be within 30 feet of me to do that. All right, cool. so I'm going to put us in initiative because I assume there's going to be a lot of rapid actions going on. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to add in the order. Luna, well, actually, yeah, you guys add yourselves in initiative and I'll just I order a critical fail. What, it, what it sounds like the order is going to be. So I, I, think, I, think, I think it's going to be Luna, then Renee, and I think uh, <gasps> Enoch, you wanted to do something just in case, right? My idea was that with the Ring of Haste, I could have just double dashed around it and then came back. Ah, uh, right. I'm but feeling, this is safer. I'm feeling, yeah, this is much safer. Whatever I was going to do was stupid. You know what? Fair enough. Uh, does anybody else want to contribute to this? Uh, I think Dabby's at the restroom right now. Yeah, uh, okay. so I think that the, the, we're just going with the echo plan. Okay, the echo plan. Work, so initiative is not the end. Never mind. Let me get rid of that. Okay. All right. So <laughs> the echo goes in its little path, just like phew, 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 and to the very end. And where do you want it to stop its run? Right there. Right there? Right there is fine. Okay. So the first one. If it gets one, destroyed, I can just bring it back. So yeah. it's not a. So the first thing. one falls down. Goosh, right there and it wakes the Kruthik up <laughs> and the second one falls goosh and the shockwave activates this one and it starts to ring out just in a loud kind of booming thunderous noise and it triggers this one which starts to ring out as well and this one drops down and ruptures this one and this one drops down and ruptures and they st all start ringing like that that one scene in Spider-Man 3 where like Peter Parker traps yeah. Venom just like they all oh. I've never seen Spider-Man so I, I don't know that reference Kruthik, I actually really like Spider-Man 3 the, believe it or not the Kruthik <laughs> just kind of like shudders and jitters and pain shaking just looking back and forth at every single thing and starts to dig into the ground and escapes yay Oh, that well, so that nice. won't be a problem later. No, I feel not. <laughs> Y'all yep. are gonna, smart. Good job. Gonna... Yes, that was... That's fucking teamwork. Oh, that God. was very smart. Oh, that feels so weird going in and out of my head like that. Oh. Are you okay? Yes, no, I'm fine. It's weird. It's yeah. weird. Just going out of my head like that is all. No, I fucking bet. All right. So we it's are going to have to ask you to do one more thing, though. What? We gotta what? have you move the boulder. 
Because you're the strongest one of us all, like I mean, physically. yes, I can do that, but I did yeah. not mean to walk under that. I would like to say that. <laughs> <It's, it's laughs> I'll, I'll say, I'll get rid of it. I'll say, like, you guys can see it, and whoever would just, like, put it there. Yay, yeah. It's fine. Thanks. You it's fine. step onto <laughs> it, but because you didn't notice it was there, you your foot hits solid air, and you walk right nothing, over. Nothing is hey. to be gained by me punishing you for just, like, yeah. Anyway. I appreciate you <laughs> so much. <laughs> <for> <laughs> the map. I feel so bad for the DM. Doesn't benefit I the game at all. Anyway, so, much. so yes, looking, you can actually see that there's a crack, a very dim crack of light when you look in, and you can see that there's a light, not only coming from the top where the exit would be, however, there's another light coming from a hole in the wall over here. And you can hear very, very subtly some voices on the other end. <gasps> ooh, ooh, I want to listen, listen to, for the voices. You listen to it. However, you can't understand what they're saying. They're speaking in Draconic. Okay, God damn it. Cool. Uh, well, I have a crowbar, so I would like to wedge the crowbar in here and start moving it. All right. So what's your strength score? Because this is going to be a thing that you're going to keep a, at for a while. My strength score is a 15, but if I, I, I don't know if maybe if I rage, it'll help at all. Hmm. You know what? I say that it, it would. And uh, I would say it takes you a little while and you start prying and prying and digging and digging until you hear a voice behind you, kind of, and you see that there's a little kobold that shows oh up. My God. Thank God, something <laughs> I can charm. <laughs> and let me show the well, portrait let's real not quick. Charm it yet. And the kobold, oh. the kobold is holding a spear oh, and it, it's pointing it at you guys, and it simply cries out in common, You! You are trespassers! I have you surrounded! I'm this so here for Russian cold. I name him Gerbils. <laughs> Gerbils. I'm and so just like, excuse me, so this is my fucking god! Your road, you if it is your road, you abandoned it long ago, and it is now Redhorn territory, and you are trespassing. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I have a quick question. Is your name Wrinkle Moss? Oh, you know of the chief. Okay, so your name is not Wrinkle Moss. No, my name is Stinko the Grand. And I'm gonna show you. <laughs> oh, oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! They have a bow tie for it. You can see. <laughs> and there's a bow tie, you know, like a suit bow tie on their head. I I love this so much. I love them. I love it. Oh. It's amazing. You are surface walkers. But you know the name of our yeah. chief. I guess. Yes, 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 we do. Um, Nathaniel, you're the face man. I will leave this to you. And I pat him on the shoulder and I'm going to go towards, oh, gonna yes, go of towards course. Luna. <laughs> I'm going to yes. step forward. <laughs> you are trying to escape through the forbidden boulder of blocking. As he's... As he says that, I step forward, I adjust my collar, and then I flick my hand and cast Charm Person. <laughs> We're not wasting time. We're not wasting time here. Not a single fuck is given this day, okay. I, on a different day, perhaps I would slow down, but we have no time. I ha Nathaniel has no patience. Charm Person. Yep. He does, he's not compelled to do anything in particular. He just thinks I'm friendly now. Right. If, he's, if he fails. Yeah, if he fails, of course. If not, yeah. then, I mean, anything happens. Yeah. <laughs> so, you try to charm him. <laughs> what? And you fail. He makes a save. He takes a step back. He, he takes a step back and simply points at you. <gasps> See, magic! And starts to run away. What magic? Uh, in Draconic, I'm gonna say, wait, no. He <laughs> stops and skids <gasps> kind of to a stop and speaks back to you in Draconic. You know our tongue. Of course I do. It was an elective in college. <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> Renee has just totally lost what was happening, so she's just gonna hang over here now. I'm so angry oh, at you, Nathaniel. Eric, this take me now! I yep. can't take this I mean, this technically anymore. we don't know what he said, because he said that in Draconic, mm -hmm. but... Yep. No, this is me. This is Aaron. I'm you having a breakdown. Aaron this believes is great. in Aaron? Okay. In, yes, in Draconic, yes, I will I say... <laughs> in, yeah. 
in Draconic, I will say. You seemed tense. I was merely trying to calm your nerves. Hmm. I see that you are a dragon of fae. I do apologize for the uh, crude introduction. You You wish to leave this place. Perhaps, but first, I would like to know more about you and Wrinkle Moss. Hmm. Grab your companions and follow me. I shall lead the way to my chief. We don't have time! <laughs> um, if possible. Uh, when he says lead the way, which way is he trying to go? He's trying to go back this way. Uh, mm. You wish no, to escape, just... yes? So that you are no longer trespassing. Mm. With all due respect, why couldn't we just go back that way? Because to go that way would not be to respect. You come into our lands, our homes. You will respect our ways. You will use our traversal path, our exit. You are well spoken in Draconic, yet you do not know Draconic culture. Oh, of course. I. I. Like. <laughs> Did they wreck my composure my is starting road? to shake just a little bit. Did they wreck my entire road just because? I am right. still trying to pry open this boulder. I have not stopped. <laughs> In that case, I'm going to keep distracting him. <laughs> All right, I apologize. Could you please um, uh, explain the rules that I have broken so that I may prevent myself from doing so in the future. Hmm. The rules are no trespassing, first, already broken. The second is to not disturb the boulder of blocking. We block that way because we do not like that way. That is not the way of the Red Horn. Ah, the Red Horn, of course. And uh, they do not like that way because... Because it is stinky. Of course, you have made nest in that area and eat and feed and breed and it smells. The what has? The crawfix. Those large spider-like creatures. Oh. I'm going to say in common, the crawfix have made a nest in that area. Brene runs over to grab Luna. Luna, 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 stop, 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 stop. What? What? The fucking spider things, that's their fucking nest. Are you serious? Yes. I finally let off the crowbar. How far did I wedge this thing out? You were digging quite a ways in and almost can, like, push the boulder with enough force. Uh, I guess hearing this information, I'd like to undo what I did. <laughs> to the other side of God the- damn it! <laughs> you fucking spiders! <laughs> just kind of kicking I just just back into the my sound sack. The Let me insight this at least. In. You may insight. I insight you. Go. We only roll 20s in this house. We only Does roll guy... 20s in this house. This Fucking... guy this guy is deeply offended and concerned that you would even think about going that direction. That direction is oh forbidden, and he means every word. He believes in every single syllable out of his mouth that you... And you can tell that what you have done has, like, really, really offended him, like, on a near unforgivable degree. Wow. Magusta. Like, I see. Like if he Understood. were, if he were a prime minister of a country, he would have you hung. Okay. Oh, no. All right. Well, luckily he's not that. He's a kobold in a cave. <laughs> but god damn it, why has he got to waste my time like this? All right. Understood. In draconic, I will say. In that case, we will be more than happy to uh, for you to escort us to the exit. Good. Uh, but perchance it wouldn't be just down that way take a left and then take a right and then straight on why yes of course it would be it is the more scenic that... route and that way we may share our culture so that your ignorant minds may learn of it at the very least I've... I have just described the way we came. Like, l- this oh, is the oh, exit sorry. he's talking about. No, 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 not that way. He, okay. he means, uh, oh, but this way. This way. I would cry. Okay, I was about to say, if, if the exit he's talking about is us just going back out, that would I might just so attack him. Sad. You, you are of Belkinus. Therefore, you must use the exit into Belkinus, like other Belkinus people. Ah, oh, of course. Uh, I, I apologize. Others like profusely. you come through that route all the time. 
It's best you do do too they? before you commit any more offenses of our culture. Right, allow me to tell my companions. And I'm going to turn, and in common, I'm going to say, uh, this... Actually, the... Uh, this kobold hasn't shown any ability to speak or understand common, has it? It has. It's okay. Spoke, it's spoke Understood. common back to you. Just so like, don't yeah. insult it. Understood. <laughs> this very wise kobold is going to show us the exit that leads directly to Belkness. We Heavens. should follow it. Ch- Chester? Okay, just give me one second. I'm trying to fix this. I'm trying to, <laughs> Luna, I'm trying to give me, wedge the fucking... Give me a survival check real quick. What a way it just falls the- apart. <laughs> Have you considered using your echo as well as oh, yourself? I was kidding, Luna. So Luna, oh, you my. just tried and placed like the rocks and bits of stuff that you pulled out, but they just kind of like crumble down. It's best left alone, most like. <laughs> it's like when you put a band-aid on something, but the band-aid falls off. You know, there's a reason why I am not the person that tends to me in Scorpio's wounds, okay? Clearly, I have no hand at it. I do not have a delicate touch. Never have, never And will. seeing the rest of the party, uh, it it looks at Enoch's guns, and it points <laughs> forward with a, with a finger. You! You are Maybe. dragon of fire! Points at Nathaniel. You are dragon of fae! Oh, Chief <laughs> will like you. I am very confused. Fire. I I am a dragon of fire looking oh. at Luna oh, all God. smug-like. That's <laughs> why he's just going to go to his head now. Why are you doing this to me? Please kill me now. Come, lesser not dragons. I show you to the chief. <laughs> kill me now, I'm, please. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say, yes, non-dragons. Let's go. I'm going to actually punch you, Nathaniel. All right, so I'm just going to gather you all here and move you to the space where you will be. Understood. Real quick, so I can just like grab you. Oh my god, there's so many tokens. Okay. Yep. Yep. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. We love you, Joe. We swear. Yep. So he leads you down the path that you didn't go, the path that was supposed to be kind of the next cache of storage, but you can see that it has been ransacked and dug out. You can see there are bits of cloth and wood and stuff, and there's a light I, to the top. I just had a thought. What about the horses, guys? Yeah, oh, they're dead. The horses, God damn it. Don't worry. We'll, uh, we'll get we'll, to that we'll, when we'll we buy get to it. Okay. We'll buy new ones. Don't worry, I am a mighty fire so, dragon. As, <laughs> I named, I named as my horse Horse. Through, as you were being led by this kobold, you see that there is an entire flock of them. Oh my, oh my god. god. And you can so see many. that there is a shrine of candles and crates and various different offerings. And you can see, it's very easy to recognize, at the end of the wall is an entire skull of the head of a dragon. Oh. I I swear to God, if the if the leader of this group is not just a kobold talking through this dragon head, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but as you enter into this shrine that uh, is seems to be dedicated to the skull of a dragon, you can see that there is one humanoid among the kobolds sitting, laughing, having a chat as they are surrounded around them. One that you would recognize. Oh my God! You didn't. I did. And you can see ah! her old flame. Oh. E- and oh. as she's talking with the cobalt, she looks up and sees you. Oh, it's been a long time, Renee. Oh. Uh. Hi. She just says like a little like wave. I look to Renee. Like, Do you know this person? Uh, yeah. No, um. Uh. She's who made all of this. She like gestures to the fucking caves. Well, not exactly all this. It's um, it's been a little while, and uh, the kobolds have uh, sort of redecorated the place. I noticed. Um, <clears throat> like Rips <Riff's> kind of <clears throat> like rubs her nose a little bit. Like mm. so. Um, um, what you been up to? And we're gonna call the session there. <laughs> Uh, they dated. I love this. The most awkward oh. ex reunion. I'm so ready for this. I'm so here for this. 